Happy New Year. Wait. Yeah, that might. Oh, I hit the wrong button. There we go. <laughs> Professional streamers, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, professional streamer. Welcome, everyone. My name is Paul Berserker01, Batman Show, your humble host and space bartender here at the Astro Pub, your space bar at the end of Twitch. Sit back, relax, enjoy the show. We got a good one for you. Yeah, we've got uh, we've got the captain's table. What's the captain's table going on? We've got a captain's uh, table. We got a captain's table. We got the captain's table, uh, where uh, we're, we bring people. Where I bring people from all over Star Citizen universe to talk about Star Citizen. Um, today, I've got two regular guests <laughs> to talk a little bit about. Uh, I don't know how to how to how to put this. We're gonna talk about three twenty three. So this is gonna be another long one. Remember how I said last time though, that you've been watching us that it was gonna be a long one because we had Dionator and uh, and. Uh, HD Vertigo on, plus also uh, Captain Superfun. Um, oh, I love them long. It's not even, we're not even like like five minutes into the channel. Really, Fastcard? <laughs> Fastcard is on. Fastcard wants to speed run demonetization, I swear. Uh, <laughs> at least, at least wait for like, like, like 10 minutes before we start getting into that. Um, so uh, uh, as uh, I'm going now, I'm going to make the joke. It's 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 uh, it's Black History Month here in the United States. So uh, uh, that's the reason why Fastcart is is here. And the only reason why he's here, because normally we keep him locked in the basement for most of the most of the year. And, and let him at least out until March, at least until March. And then we come at, then we let him out in March for for his other great, great holiday, which is St. Patrick's Day, since he's so very Irish. So um, uh, <clears throat> I, I don't know if he is or not. I just make that joke because I think it's funny. Uh, no. <laughs> his real name is 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 uh, Patrick O'Leary. Is is Pascal's real name? So. Uh, and you, and I think when it's, you wanted to say that every month is Black History Month, I'm going. I, I'm only going to. I'm just going to say only in Jamunda and Wakanda. Wakanda that's true. But other than that, <laughs> not so much. You gave me a challenge, and I accepted a challenge. <laughs> For those of you who don't get this, this is a long running joke between me and Fast Card over the last six years now. Where, I'm as long say as five, I've done, six maybe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just here. <laughs> it's these two for the show, and me just to fill this box here. This is my job to fill this <laughs> box. Naz is here just so to 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 extend the length. So he's like, hold up, I'm gonna spend about 15 minutes here explaining why the. Uh, Addition of the visor tech is critical to the success of Star Citizen. Let me let me do a a, a TED talk here. So because of how uh, the <laughs> game industry has actually evolved. All right, getting back on track. Let's actually introduce our folks before so people can actually know what's going on. Let's start with speaking of 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 Mr. TED Talk himself, uh, uh, Naz. Who are you? What do you do in Star Citizen, and where can they find you? Hello everyone, I am Nazrez. I run the Nova Forge YouTube channel. It's, it's there, it's lower, there we go. Uh, YouTube channel and Twitch account. Um, we I do streams almost every day on uh, lots of Star Citizen, both gameplay and news with lots of Rune Commander. Very excited for the new racing. Um, we do go through the monthly reports, we play some games. I have an org called the Nova Forge Industries. Um, and we also play some games like Space Engineers, so basically any sci-fi games on the table. And soon, hopefully, after I can figure out how to actually build a voxel engine, uh, game dev. Nice. Um, and then we'll also be doing uh, some clips of the streams and how tos and things like that, as well as some building videos for Space Engineers over on the YouTube channel. Nice. Yes, and for those of you, the chat's pointing out that's not Naz, that's the Nova Forge. Um, it's it's kind of like how I'm Paul to everyone, but my name is the Astro Pub. Uh, he's Naz. Literally, but... how I tried to explain. Yeah. Like, Changing the name to this to everyone yeah. like no, he's still oh, that. Oh, yeah, that's the that's the, that's that's the long cut. How old is that name? Uh, it's older than my Twitch channel. It's actually my old uh, Xbox Live handle. So like back when when did Halo Two come out? Two thousand five. That's that's Let's when I first see. dinosaurs died around. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, it's 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 uh, like next year. I think it's gonna be like a it'll it'll have been been my my online handle for about a about twenty years. <laughs> so <laughs> and, and I've been fast caught since ninety one. There we go. So all right. Um, but yeah, check check out the Nova Forge. Um, run by Nazareth. Uh, and uh, this is where I ask: uh, Is Tree going to rope you into playing uh, Helldivers? 
Uh, he two. hasn't said a word to me about it. Probably not. I assume he's going to try though, because because um, he 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 is very very into the Helldivers universe. So yeah, he, ha- he hasn't said anything about I don't think Star Citizen in the past like three days. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and hey, also, if hey. he's watching. He he put up a thing in his Discord that we're gonna do the podcast on Monday. He didn't tell me we're doing the podcast on Monday. There we go. <laughs> All right. Um, let's start with uh, then. Let's start, let's start with the, the, the Nova Forge and let's move on to Mister okay. Fast Cart. Uh, <laughs> Thank Black, you, Black Black Jurassic himself. I say let's start with the Nova Forge. Now let's start with Fast Cart. Uh, yes. Mister Black Jurassic <laughs> himself. Who are you? What are you doing, Star Citizen? Where can they find you? Uh, hold on. Let me adjust my camera. You better display my chest. There we go. Okay. There we go. My most I bring bring down under to to the odd Paul. <laughs> anyway, so I'm fast card FC. Uh, typically, there's no underscore, but you know that's my Twitter handle because I I, can't, I haven't uh, uh, I'll check, I'll change done, done the brand the brand uh, thing either. But yeah, fast card oh, yeah. FC. I'm part of Soul Citizens. Uh, we do a uh, podcast on Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Sunday is our main uh, podcast where we cover different topics. Uh, Thursday and Saturday, we have people come in from the community and talk with us about, about what's going on during Star Citizen and that week. So, yes, you get to have a voice and you get to kind of talk with us about what, what, what your thoughts are, how Star Citizen is progressing, and those are Thursdays and, 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 and Saturday. But, yeah. And I'm also on the People's Radio uh, once a month where I have a show called Price of Rhythm, and that's coming up on this Friday, in fact. So, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um... I was going to say something. I forgot what, what, what it was. Uh, Soul Citizens is part of the Podsat Saturday um, that, that that we've put together a long time ago, where, for those of you who don't know, uh, there are three podcasts uh, that run about to talk about Star Citizen that run on Saturdays. It's uh, Soul Voices, and then it's The Captain's Table, and then it's um, The Relay Station. Uh, and this and is relay days and the longest going podcast. <laughs> yes, yes. Which they've I been going out, longer. I found that out last week, which is they've been going longer than I have, and I'm like, they probably have. I'm not going to contest that. They probably. And, I don't. And this is why I don't do, don't try and do a podcast on Saturday. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. And Paul, you finally got it. Got an apology for CIG um, almost beating you up. That that also happened last week. Yes, yes. I did. I did have to. I did have to yell at him about that. That's a long story, which I'm not going to get into. All you got to know is that somebody at the at the relay station um, got me in trouble with CIG, where all of QA circled around me in Austin, and I was about to get my ass kicked. Um, so, yeah. It was it was an uncomfortable situation that an, someone who isn't even living in the same country I am, let alone continent, um, would do as a joke, and that got me. In that nailed it down a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Anyways, let's get on to the main topic of today, which is uh, effectively three dot twenty three three dot CIG released the roadmap roundup um, to officially update their uh, release view, which. Uh, to, for some context for people who haven't been around the community a lot or have been community and then coming back, the, uh, they, when they changed the roadmap to release view and progress tracker, uh, anything that goes on the release view is very, I wouldn't say vetted, but CIG is far more confident in things that go on the release view than they are on in previous years. I think of the three or four years it's been since, uh, since the, the change has happened, I think a total of five items that have been posted on the release view have been uh been wrong which is an impressive like status compared to previous years that's like a good yeah it used to be twice a year we'd get like oh this is where it's the first one or the last one of the year it's gonna get gutted for next year yeah and we haven't had a, a, a gutting patch since they switched it to hey we're gonna give you like six months out maybe no, three months. Not even one patch. One patch. <laughs> one patch. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 been great for people who get upset at the roadmap. Yeah, yeah. But for the rest of us, we had the monthly reports. So, yeah. Um. But the uh the the point being is that that usually when they have these now that when they update the release view, it is they're fairly confident in it. And uh, at this point, I'm I'm comfortable saying that if they ever updating it. 
right now, they're almost certainly going to be make it into the patch. So pretty much everything you see on the release view is likely to make it in the patch. But there could be some changes because this is the first time they've done something this early and this big because most of this stuff isn't coming until April, which is a bit longer than typical. Uh, it's not a... Um, Go ahead. Oh, one thing I wanted to say is that it, 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 everything probably will be in this patch, but it may not be in the first patch. It may be a, a point one or A or a point two or LB and whatnot. whatnot. So, yeah, they, they probably will. We will have everything in 323, but don't expect everything in, in, in the first go around. There'll probably be, be iteration. Yeah, and there may be some stuff that comes in 3.23.1 rather than than than, uh, than 3.23 specific. And I'd also like to note, not a single ship was mentioned yet. No. Oh, so they do have they do have a vehicle and and, and and they do have a vehicle tab, but it's not a ship. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. And, so and, like, there's gonna be so much more stuff in this patch. It's yeah. huge. We we know of at least probably I would say there's at least probably four ships coming in three out twenty three based off of the monthly reports, which tracks like a brand new ship with two variants of it, and then a vehicle that was pre previously announced, um, <laughs> which they don't say is the G twelve, but. Uh, and then what was it? The maybe the the retaliator gold pass is from <laughs> what's going to happen. Hi, Chim Pasta. So, um, uh. but yeah, uh, so it's it's big. Um, so with that being said, uh, we're going to go over each kind of element of three point twenty three. And the professional streamer I am, I don't actually have the roadmap up, so I have to pull it up That's real quick. Nice. I just put uh, it up. That's what I'm doing just now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> keep stalling. Keep stalling. Um, so we we had like two, like, I think it was last year and the year before, we had the biggest small patch and the smallest big patch. Yes. This time is the biggest big patch. Yeah. It, oh, okay. <laughs> I was trying to follow that for a moment. I'm like, what? <laughs> that's that's a that's a the kind of good way of putting it. I had forgotten that we had the biggest small patch and the smallest big patch. Um uh, so let's start off with the very first topic, and I'm going to kind of hand it off and have each of the guests talk about the goods and the bads and if they think it is actually going to make it in 3.23. So Fastcard, since you're the last one to introduce yourself, I'll start with you with this, which is the new character customizer. Do you think it's going to, what goods and bads, and do you think it's going to make it? Uh, the good, uh, probably, hopefully new hairstyles. The bad, um, they may not be able to save the the custom customization across, you know, different um, installations, or you may not be able to save it and you know re retrieve it. I don't know if that's gonna that's a thing yet. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm really excited about more hairstyles and having greater diversity and and character and character and stuff like that. I don't know if they're ever gonna going to do different heights. <laughs> they, I think it said that they wanted it, but it's not coming anytime soon. But yes, um, and what would you, uh, do I think it's coming? I believe it, it, it is, yeah. The three, three, okay. Nance, same question for you. Uh, definitely coming in 323 is my opinion. Um, goods and bads? I, I, goods and bads? Um, goods, it's like going to add so much more customiz custom customizability to our characters. Um, especially a mode that I want, like I said, I'm pretty sure I was on stream at the time since the first one came out, like, Hey, we're having to cycle through all these heads and move a slider. Why not have this machine do it for me when I pull on this, uh, like part of the body, just have it cycle through till it gets to the port, the part that is that farther out or that in. And now they do that. So it's perfect. Uh, bads. Bad. I mean, it doesn't have as much custom customizability as Minecraft skins. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's really good. Like, I think the only I can't, there's nothing I have that is inherently a negative. Like, not mm -hmm. enough scanned heads. Like, that's not a negative. That's just not a, not yet. Mm -hmm. And we already know that we're going to be able to export them because they're already exporting them. So we can build them on street. We can we can like start an entire channel. Uh, YouTube, Twitch, whatever, of making heads and then giving them away and having a uh, index for characters. Isn't, isn't there like a, an entire channel or entire show that's just that just character customizing? I may be wrong about that. There's there was I a there was know, a I, I don't th doubt. Uh, it, so yeah, this I is, believe it. This is one of the things that 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 Jake Jake Bradley Jake Acapella sh introduced me to right before the pandemic started. Which was a there's a there's a there's a channel that is dedicated to just making or maybe it's a, just like a scene. Monster Factory. Series. That's just that's yeah, Monster Factory. Right? That's what it is. Monster Factory. 
Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm interested in seeing that for, 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 for Star Citizen, but yeah. Um, I would say that the goods of it is more diversity, more inclusion, and just better hair. Cause the hair currently is garbage. Like, it, like no matter, no matter what ethnicity, no matter what hair type you have, the hairs in Star Citizen right now are, well, now, no, now they're actually pretty good cause they actually moved them over. But the <laughs> ones before, say. the ones before that were just awful. They're just terrible hair. And now it's probably more on par with what you would see in other AAA games. Uh, I want um, them to announce wear and tear for hair. That would be good too. Where like where life. you pick your where you pick your do, right? Mm-hmm. You pick your hair and you do. And it will like it will it'll degrade and it will like the whatever the shape of it will like fall out a bit and you'll have to go and get I mean it, is that basically I mean I'm already balding in real life. I don't want <laughs> I don't want balding in a game that I'm playing. Okay. That, I mean, that they already said me, diseases and that, drugs. That, that, so. that is a bit too much immersion for me, I in think, my opinion. I think it would be hilarious if you, if if you had wear and tear and damage to hair. So like if you get like like dive head first into a into fire, you could burn off all off your hair. So you <laughs> no eyebrows. Yeah, no eyebrows. You're running around. <laughs> Um, great, especially because they got fire coming. Yeah, you would have this applied look of where you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. uh, oh, people, people ask yeah. what you do, and you, you just don't want to tell them you jumped into a fire on accident. So you're like, I'm part of a cult. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but they jump into fires in Pyro. <laughs> <laughs> they do. <laughs> Um, so I mean, the bad I think is that, uh, we're not going to get the hairstyles. I don't think we're going to get the full hairstyles for the full types of hair, especially like, cause what CIG has mostly been focusing on is like straight hair and, uh, hair that is very, uh, European centric. Uh, so you're looking at like other hairstyles that are less, uh, that have different textures and different sizes and like, like curl more, you're probably not going to have as much inclusion for it, but I know CIG has been actively told that they need to fix that and the teams are actively working on it so they, i mean it's not she, she, go ahead she's not on the show tonight but but she, she was going to be but yo yo meg hair she she wants her hair in game and, and, and most of it and, and almost all of it and so she doesn't do so like yeah get, get yo yo meg hair, hair, hair in game and most of it, a lot of it will, will be happy with that oh yeah oh yeah Twitch hair again um, went, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like Twitch's Twitch's hair is was, was supposed to be Twitch Twitch Pacheco. Uh T C Pacheco was I mean, supposed to be supposed to be. And think of Twitch you, you, like long, long time ago, you saw that um that one screen uh with the concept art yeah. where it had a whole bunch of uh, uh, uh pictures of Twitch Twitch Pacheco with different hairstyles. I'm like, why isn't that in game? Or why you know, how hard is it to to, to put that in game? So hopefully they'll be doing that in three twenty three, but we saw yeah. see. Um, yeah, I, I think hair, much like ships and ship paints and new places in the universe, will all be the same. And they're they're probably never going to not have a hair department making yeah. new styles of hair, especially with the well, new tools it, they have. So, well, yeah. Yeah. speaking of hair, here's, here's a question: Like in, in, in Citizen Con, they had this slider that had the different coloration. Like you can have different color at the, in the middle and at, at the yeah, end yeah, like, at like, the tip. Like the do you, do, you, do, you think, do you think we're getting that in 323? Yep. Yeah, I think it was Nick Hugh that said, yes, that is part of the 323. Yeah. So I, okay. I, I'm going to also say the bad is I, I'm with Fastcart. I don't think we're going to have the customization released in 3.23. Because when you look at the com- comments made by Sean Tracy about it, it was, we have it in an internal tool. It works internally, but it's an internal tool, not an external tool. And because it's not something that come, I think is coming with Squadron, it's probably not something they're, they're shipping with Squadron, or at least I had the idea of shipping with Squadron. It's likely not ready with a UI and the the, the export bases and everything like that. The, the tool Which exists. The, the the being able to customize your character and then getting like generating a code and then saving that code. He and did say re- that on stage that you will be able to export codes. Yes, but he didn't say yeah, but, uh, three dot twenty three or the okay, okay. That's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, so that's so that's that's kind of the bad, and most uh, and so even chats is just like, well, not, I'm not getting everything I want right away. It's like, well, yeah, that's the point. We're trying to set expectations as being like sometimes As only Jared says it's now a live game. Yeah. They're now developing it as a live game. No one else says it because they don't actually want to step on too many people's toes. But Star Citizen's a live game now. Yeah. <laughs> It's and it will continue to the live develop. test server, but you know and, the testing and right after the word live. And and I do and I do agree that we're going to probably see a ton of new hairstyles coming forward. Like it's like basically whenever they just get a 
they have the time and they care to, they can probably model any care style they want to. And I actually watched a, an interesting video and I can't remember how long ago it was, but one of the, one of the discussions of part of that video was how hard it is to make realistic hair in 3d models because hair is not as simple as, as a lot of other physics objects are. Uh, it can be not to mention like just the difference between any other object and hair is it has physics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, one, one thing one thing i do hope is that they make it easier to like I, like they're scrolling like clicking one clicking each style one by one by one by one it get, get, kind of get tedious I, i'm hoping that, that there's an easier way to 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 look that visually see the hairstyle we we want to get and just pick it that way but i don't think we're going to get that yeah I think it's going to evolve and, and get and get kind of get fine tuned over time um, because and this is going to sound crazy because we haven't even seen the first game, but there's going to be a sequel to Squadron 42. And if there's oh, a sequel to Squadron 42. Yeah. So if there is a sequel, then anything that they do in Star Citizen to improve the tools that they built originally for Squadron, then they improve for Squadron Star Citizen are going to be reimported back into the mix, into the sequel. And all those fixes will be made. So it's one of the so benefits it's a, sequel? Of a live game. So. So is the sequel to Squadron 42 going to be called Squadron 43? No, 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 no. It's going to be called Squadron 42 <laughs> Squadron Harder. That's that's the uh, <laughs> that's the, the official title. Uh, but I haven't played uh, the first you're, 41 you're yet, like, Paul. You're talking about full game sequels, not just the, the, the parts of it. Yeah, well, so... The, Chris Roberts. Squad, so, so Squadron 42 that. is split up in three episodes. It was supposed to originally be one game, and then Aaron Roberts came in and looked at Chris, looked at his brother, and said, you are insane. We are splitting this into three parts. And that's, that's why we ended up getting three games instead of, instead of one big one. No, there are um, about 30 chapters per uh, episode. Yeah. There's, and the problem is, if you call it an episode, this is Chris Roberts, who's been out of the gaming industry for a long time. and didn't know that episodes was often used for, for games like Telltale Games and other things like that. So... They call them chapters, but the problem is, is that chapters is also the internal name of the internal levels. So it's just like it's and part one, part two, well, and part three. Okay. Yeah, and the <laughs> chapters in the game actually work like book chapters. They're not task chapters like in a lot of uh, more linear RPGs, where a like a mission is your your chapter. Like it's not every mission. Yeah. Each chapter has at least three parts of a mission in it. Yeah. There's the uh, the social flight and FPS. Yeah, and sometimes and then there's gonna be different, and then there's yeah. gonna be different DRM. So you can, you can play, you can play it on your Kindle, you can play it on your <laughs> Android. <laughs> Listen, oh that's that's one of the other the other jokes is that Chris Roberts is like Wing Commanders were ported to just put out any any device that could run them uh, when they were released. So I don't doubt that we'll get if if Chris Roberts can release a Squadron Forty Two on the next gen Nintendo console, he would. Oh God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I anything mean, anything but it? origin because they have a history. <laughs> yes. Uh, um but uh I mean if he gets it on like streaming services, like that's that's it. He, it's on everything. But like I like everyone's been saying like the new UI stuff is, is like built for console. Yeah, it, it looks like get, that. We'll get to that when we get to, the, to some of that yeah. stuff. But uh, I will Can say, I say that this, I, Go ahead. this is not me derailing the topic. This is, this is purely between you two, okay? This okay. Is, I didn't derail this time. <laughs> yes, yes, no. But I mean, it was. it's a good point to point out because the reason why I said it was because it's 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 one of the reasons why you'll hear a lot of people say like, oh, well, they won't bring people over from Squadron to Star Citizen to work on the game, which they are already huh? doing so that they've what? already... They you know? renamed the entire ship pipeline. <laughs> yeah. So with the, like, okay, uh, thank you. Uh, you're wrong. This is, this is the point. Um, but, but, uh, but also like, like anything that they will build for star citizen is going to be ported into start uh, to squadron 42 sequels, uh, the updates, any updates they make for squad 42 post launch. Um, and so it is, it is valuable that CIG continues to develop any of the mm -hmm. stuff that they started with squadron in star citizen because star citizen becomes the, they kind of reverse what star citizen becomes the, the, testing grounds for new technology and then we're using it as for creating single player so that's I'm the gonna get, genius about I'm just that, gonna that get thing. like a in a train rail somewhere and put it up in the corner <laughs> that will be de that will be hey, derailed i started it i started this this this, this whole thing for that one so but um but do i 
<laughs> uh, but see, how many things have we gotten? Uh, none. Oh We've my God! We only Listen, thought shush. this is the first one, and we only uh, we already we only ha- a half hour into the show. So yeah, <laughs> not even. We're only twenty minutes into the show because nice. we saw. Oh, right. <laughs> so, um, but uh, do I think it's going to come in? I do think it's going to come in. I just don't think it's going to fully come in with everything. Everything, but I think it's going to have everything that we should. They showed off at CitizenCon. Like it's going to. Yeah, I think all these features, posts them getting in in whatever form they get in both in 323 and whatever comes next um down like everything they said at squadron i i think that it will be a footnote of the additions mm. like the big thing is get them in the door but like all these teams that are working on all these features because there's a team on every one of the features we're going to go through yeah and so i think like they're just going to be like ticking stuff in in every patch from here yeah. on in it's yeah but it's, it's it's important to note that the Likely, a lot of these things are going to be version zero. So let's move on to the next one, and I'll start with you on this one, uh, Nova Forge, Mister Mister Nazareth. Uh, distribution centers, goods, bads, and um, the oh, uh, yeah, this I have bads for. Okay, <laughs> and and if you think it's going to make it in or not, I do think it's going to get in because they've okay. decided to gut them. <laughs> yes, just about literally, we're only getting a the. Exterior. basically the lobby portion there's gonna yeah. be a little ab- above ground but no subterranean mm-hmm. um they, so any of that stuff past the cargo elevator and all of the uh concept art when they talked about in both iscs not gonna be there so the mission they show at CitizenCon will be a thing and mm-hmm. a ton more missions the mission feature team is going to have a field day with these things and that i'm very excited that's a definite positive and also with Tons of other stuff. I, I think we'll I'll use this time after to summarize how it's going to play with a lot of these other features mm-hmm. that it's going to be just such an addition to the game, way bigger than just a new outpost. That's a really big mm-hmm. it, it's it is going to help change the paradigm of the entire game. All right. Uh, and, OK. And you already said it's, it's going to make it in. So uh, fast cut. Same question for you. Uh, good, bad. And you think it's going to make it in? So I I just had to reread the um the the summary of what it said. So distribution center is creating new traversable areas, offering gameplay opportunities in corporate industrial environments. The initial release include the service levels of facilities with underground areas coming in, in a later update. Uh, I I'm gonna have to bow to you, you guys our expertise on this one because I haven't been following distribution centers that closely. But yeah, so if you say it's probably going to be gutted and coming in and and, and and a, what was the word you use? Not, not empty, but you know, hollow or whatever. So, hey, that sounds okay to me, I guess. You think it's gonna make it in though? Uh, sure. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> you, you, you haven't been following it, you, you don't have a good enough like information on right. it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I do think it's gonna make it in. Um, and I, I, I agree because uh, the, the thing about the distribution centers for anybody who doesn't know what this is, because it's a confusing name because CIG's bad at naming things. Is, That's the other thing, yes, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, is that it's the it's what the distribution centers started off as, off as was large underground facilities or the large UGFs. So they're, these are basically the replacements for the current UGFs, which were built as part of a demonstration for CitizenCon in like 2018, 2019. Like, uh. like the, the, the UGFs we have right now were literally uh, built for a bespoke demonstration for one 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 citizen con that they put in the game as a hey it's here it's done let's put it in and it's just well, they, sat there forever it, so. it was supposed to be the the bunkers that we now call them bunkers yeah. that we have now were supposed to be the bigger ugs we have coming in 323 yeah but what happened is they said hey you're gonna need to expand this layer so just get something done so we can start at citizen con and then we got done with citizen con like now go move over here. We'll get back to that. I never got back to that. It's, so if you actually the reason... go inside the UGFs we have now, the, the bunkers, yeah. if you, let, if you get quick, to the let, side... Let me just say, Nad, you did that wrong. You, you're, supposed to, you're supposed to start that off with saying, what had happened was... Oh, okay. Then, yeah, then, 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 yeah that's, how, that's how you do that. What had happened was... And yeah. if you go to the edge of the, the platform or the elevator, right where the elevator meets, you can actually look down. There's several floors below you. Yeah. There's at least three floors in this thing, not connected to the two floors you can get to normally. So it was supposed to be expanded. They just never got around to it. Like, hey, we have way bigger, way better game now and way more talent. We're going to redo the entire thing. And that's how we got the new bunkers, which are only a medium compared to the small bunkers we have now. So there is at least one size up from the things we're going to be in 323. Yeah. 
Oh, at some point. And it's at important to point. it's it's also important to know that's one of the reasons why the bunker elevators break all the time because they weren't built for the live game. That they're 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 shoehorned into the game. So we may even have uh. a redo of the small bunkers using the technology from the medium bunkers. The, uh, medium or whatever we call them the, UGFs, the, the, yeah. the UGFs or the distribution centers I hate the name it's stupid um, but I do think it's going to make it in and I do think that like there's one thing you know I know about the mission feature team is that the mission feature team um, the, the people who run the mission teams are cracked and I mean that <laughs> in the most loving way possible I fully expect because I was not expecting them uh, to just be like hey you know payday let's do payday in Star Citizen or just like Okay, all right, that's fine. I'm okay with this. It's just, it's like the team just like, all right, let's let's think of something cool. We all like Mario, right? Let's do a Mario uh, the, uh, thing in Star Citizen. <laughs> let's I, do let's do platforming in Star Citizen as a mission. I it's will like, re uh, reserve what? my final judgment till we get the new movement system. But yeah. I hate platforming Star Citizen. It is it's terrible. Floaty, and you bounce off edges, and it's just like I feel like I'm wearing one of those like rolly around blow up ball thing honestly you know what we need we need the push pull system in because that way you can actually deflect off of walls if you bounce into walls uh, with, well with in the, eva but if you could do that you, you could do the same system for uh for maneuvering around because if you bounce on walls you could easily have you automatically reach out and because you would automatically reach out and push from the wall or try to maybe not grab the wall but at least push or at least deflect yourself so and then we'll have wall running in any game so right i mean we're getting sliding yeah. I don't think we'll get a wall running, true. but I, I do think deflecting <clears throat> might be a thing because we are getting like, what is it? The whole system, the whole running system is very, basically um, mirror's edge uh, light in terms of like how it's functioning. Which I love. And, 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 now, and now that I, I've been listening to you, do, to you two, I do have a bad, um, okay. so with this whole just, uh, distribution center thing, they're creating more elevators to kill, to kill players with. Yeah, so, they are. <laughs> that, that'll be a thing. That is a bad. I don't know yeah, who's getting killed by all these elevators. The only way I've been killed with, by an elevator in recent memory is the elevator wasn't actually there. That happens. The other thing but that it, happens like, is it if... wasn't there visually. I'm like, maybe it's there on the server and I just don't see it. So it was my own stupidity not making sure. Sometimes like, it that's is. The only, that's... Sometimes you just have a black screen and you have to like to walk through and you walk through. It's there. So, cause but it wasn't black. I could, I, could, I could see the, could see the bottom. atmosphere. Oh. So was, um, that's the only way I've been killed in recent memory. Oh, the other yeah. thing that happens, what I think a lot of players don't realize, is if two players get into an elevator, they may not be synced perfectly with one another. And so mm -hmm. you'll run into each other and break each other's legs or instantly kill you because they push you out of the uh, this, uh, stuff like that. So, um, but. And the other thing, the, the elevator is so fast that the, the, the physics is, is, is really correct. Or the, these things uh, uh, happen and, and the elevator kills you because, you know, it stops or, or moves so, so fast. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, all right, next one. Let's move on to the next one. We're actually going this faster than I thought we would. We're we're already oh, on thirty. Hell. We're on thirty minutes, and we're already, we've done two. Now we hit the gameplay section, which is thirteen entries. So um, this is where we end up ending that, with that six hour timeline. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so let's start with uh, you, fast card on this one. Uh, the visor and lens HUD rework. Which uh, I'll read this off, so because it's a good point to read it off for what people, so people at home can figure out. Which just says converting the visor and lens system to building blocks for improved performance and flexibility. And to give the gist of this, when you don't have your helmet on, you have a lens in your eye, which functions that gives you the alt, uh, augmented reality stuff around you, which is what CIG's excuse for why you still have a HUD when you're uh, when you, when you don't have a helmet, but it's not you know perfect. And then the visor update is things like your your visor itself when you have a helmet on, and that's going to change. So fast card, goods, uh, bads, and, and what do you think is going to come in? Oh, I, I'm going to start. I do think we'll probably get this in in, in 3.23, uh, whether that is 3.23.1 or 2 or whatever, maybe 3.23 base. But yeah, I do believe we'll probably get this. Uh, the good. Um, well, this is this is independent of the of the new um, interaction thing. Or, I mean, it's, it's all linked, right? But it's not mm. re really part of the interaction thing. But I mean, th th that is the, the good. The bad, hmm, I don't know. It, it, it'd be something people have to, to probably have to get used to because a lot of mm -hmm. people are afraid of seeing F everywhere, everywhere they go. So that, that, that that's potentially a bad. But hopefully, CIG will figure something out with that. People are so ha so so scared of getting of 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 the of effing Star Citizen, having to f everything. In Star no, they're Citizen. not. 
They love it. They love the F. They, they, they love effing <laughs> in Star Citizen. We all love effing in Star Citizen. Um, and and for YouTube after Cyberpunk fact, when before, CIG. As, as I'm getting as I'm getting uh, getting that 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 bot is monetizing. It's just like demonetize. You hit F for interaction. Okay, you prudes. <laughs> That's the joke. <laughs> I have I have been demonetized for some random stuff in the past, and I just like, <laughs> and I'm not even there. Yeah, no, <laughs> my gameplay streams get get demonetized more than my my like actual like like these sorts of things. And I swear we do say and do more more heinous things in the office hours and captain's table than I do in anywhere on my own live stream. <laughs> um, uh, Ness, same question to you. Uh, with uh, the visor and and a HUD update or the visor and lens HUD, are you? Uh, your goods, bads, and is it coming in? Uh, goods, modern UI by an amazing team. Um, also, we are obligated by, I forget his name, I'm sorry, CIG Bone? Dev. No, it wasn't Bone. He was on uh, SCL um, this last, not, was last, not this week, but last week. Um, uh, the UI where it shows your ammo and grenades thing, that is called the combat mm -hmm. stack. Oh. We must, we must call it the combat stack. Not an official name. It's his name for it. So we're going to go with it and make CIG recognize it. Um, I really like that it's dynamic. So if you're not in combat or holding up a weapon, you don't have your combat UI. Much, much cleaner. I don't know if this includes wall hacks. Um, mm -hmm. I, I hope it doesn't include wall hacks because they did say that they, hey, we're going to work on this. We're going to make sure it's not too OP. Um, I don't like the whole wall hacks thing. Like I, I hate the wall hacks thing much more than sliding. Um I do think it's going to make it in, and it is, again, it is a a starting point to build the future UI, future uh, heads-up display of Star Citizen. And so it's much easier to work with building blocks and to jack stuff into this, whether that be a, you know AR overlay for your cargo or, you know, maybe an AR overlay for farming so you can see which crops are grown and which aren't, or if your herd is, like, wounded or in heat or whatever however that works out so only the beginnings and you know i just want to add i have so many f's to give my measurement <laughs> is full of f's uh so the, the dev's name is johnny <laughs> is johnny uh G, i can't remember the Jusivius? his last name Jusivius, yes johnny Jusivius. i don't know uh, why i know like how to pronounce that so well it's, but it's I, not actually something in the, there it's not actually how you say his last name. It's Johnny. No, but there's yeah. another word that's like it that I know. Yeah. I don't know what that is. F uh, oh, I know, what you're, I know what you're talking about. And it's like fastidious. No, something like that, though. Yeah. Vesuvius. I know Vesuvius. I'm not even going to oh, try. Yeah. <laughs> that's all you. <laughs> uh, okay. V visor, visor and lens. I don't think there's going to be any kind of downsides or upsides to it. I mean, I think the only thing is the actual the actual because it's it's good but we're not talking about the interaction system we're really talking about just the hud the hud mm -hmm. is cool the one thing that i do like that's going to be added to the hud that i think a lot of people are overlooking is visibility there's a visibility marker so it's it basically what cig's dev team did is they took the oh, hud and, the, and, and a compass yeah they took the hud from the ship and they just transported it to your <laughs> Um, to your to your, your combat helmet. So you've got your EM signature, your heat signature, and your visibility. And the visibility is like your cross section on your ship. But in on on uh, on foot, it's now just like can someone see you or not? So St Starfield likes to boast that it was in development for like twenty five years. Yes. Star Citizen has been in nine, ten, eleven, thirteen. If you want to like go all the way back to like design documents. Mm -hmm. We already and will have better um, hidden HUD than Starfield does to date. Because <laughs> I'm still sure, and people like to like tell me I'm wrong, that I'm, I'm wearing way too heavy of a tinfoil hat, that the hidden marker in Starfield is uh, dev art, is engineering art. Hmm. It matches none of the UI. It is a white bar when you're crouched and it is filled up with green and the green shrinks in the middle. Like it looks nothing like anything else. You know why? It's, it's just import it's imported from Skyrim. It's the same. But it doesn't even mark. look like Skyrim. The, the art's completely different. Like mm. it just an engineer said, we need sneaking. Well, just throw a bar in there and make it like use the value of this to show this. It's, um, like I but, could uh, do a better one. 
so so I, 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 the chat's correcting me. It's not visibility, it's sound. But that's the same idea. It's the, how much sound you're making yeah, on foot. So those sorts of things are cool. Observableness. Um, and it's it, 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 awareness, your awareness meter almost, uh, if, if for, for those of you who do... Uh, Soundability. <laughs> Soundability. Um, how aware people are of you. Uh, I think I think a lot of those things are going to be cool. They're going to be great quality of life updates. Uh, I don't think there's any really downsides to them, uh, other than, as Fastcard said, you're going to have to get used to each of the little unique aspects of them because they've been engineered for squadrons, so they're just going to take a little bit. And I do think this is possibly one of those that may not make it in the base version, but it may make it into like 3.21 or 3.23 mm-hmm. or 1 or 2. Um, I think the base HUD is is much more in 3.23 than a lot of this other stuff. Because well, it's... it's They can get the features in the point patches, but like just the yeah. basic replacing of the HUD. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I'm, I'm just... Because, really, because like... I don't know if it'll be functional. It, like it, yeah. might, it might come in three dot twenty three, but I don't think like like that idea of like the sound thing might not be functional because it might yeah. not be ported yeah. over yet. Because like that's the yeah. what's one of like the key features of Building Blocks UI is the modulability of it. That's not probably a word, yeah. um, but they can take out random pieces and nothing breaks, and they can just say we're not going to release this bit yet, so we're just going to put that over there until we're done testing it, and they'll just release the base HUD, which is basically just images around your screen. <laughs> Maybe you want to see it building blockable? Is, 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 is that a word? Building blockable? <laughs> I, I want to hope so. It's it, 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 it building blockability? Yeah, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next one, like which is, uh, I think this is a big one. And this is a good question, because I think this is probably the most controversial one in terms of... Well, people who don't like it can go find a different game to play. Go play, like, uh, Andromeda or something. Well, Dang, what, I mean, wow. what, I, what I mean by this is that <laughs> it's, the most, it's the most confusing of the uh, of the ones which is the personal and instance hangers uh, and the reason why this is confusing is because a lot of people are wondering is this just the hanger module coming back and are we going no to get it's so much less it's <laughs> it's it's I went so back, different so i lo- i went back and i looked at the old hangers when this released i'm like oh oh the nostalgia mm-hmm. oh i want them back i want to, yeah i do i want to play the old hanger module i i didn't look it up i need to remind myself to look up because I'm pretty sure back when the Hager module existed, yes, I'm derailing the entire thing. There was a you're, way to actually uh, crack the game and to download basically the entire your, game, yeah, and play it offline completely. So there might be, unless CIG lawyers did their job and went after them, there there might be out there some early versions of Star Citizen with Hanger modules. And if there is, I want to go back and play the Hanger module mm. because. I know someone has them saved. I know has the earlier earlier builds saved. So there's definitely ways you can get to the earlier builds. You just uh, that you have to download with that offline. And I, offline I, I hope to have a, a workable version of the hangar module because the later versions were broken as hell. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah it has That's to be somewhere in the out. middle because like too early there was nothing there. Too late and they right. just completely broke. <laughs> completely broken. So, <laughs> so we need the patch right after they implemented the uh, port system there with the little with the little uh, icons. Everywhere. Before they completely changed the port system. Um, <laughs> how many times? So, how many so, times, CAG? <laughs> so, Nas, uh, that's the yes. question. Do you, good bads, and uh, do you think it's going to make it in? Uh, instance hangers, definitely making it in. Personal hangers, I have no clue. I'm not a server dev. Oh, not anywhere I've, near that. I forgot to read it off. I'll read it off so the people yeah, know. Thank you. I was going to do it. <laughs> Creating new tech that increase, uh, creates an uh, instance of a player's hanger to allow for uninterrupted management for, of cargo, inventory, and vehicles. Personal hangers are found at the player's home location and allow for customization and organization of the hangar interior. So it's actually two things. Yeah, it's Mm -hmm. two personal and instance hangers. So right. So you think instance hangers coming in, but personal not? Uh, Not not. But if if something was to slip out of this tile, it would be the personal ones. Mm -hmm. Uh, No. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, The good it 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 well they're. They're solving problems that we have in the game, and they're planning for the problems that will get exacerbated because of server meshing when we're all on top of each other trying to use the same hangers. Uh, so they're planning ahead. This is great. Uh, Personal actually like starts to put back the hanger module. Mm-hmm. However, it's nothing like the hanger module. Like you don't get it's. It will be the start because it will be persistent. You can put stuff around the hanger, and you can come back there. I think my camera just died. By camera. Uh, I will refresh it real quick. 
your audio is fine. So, uh, uh, so like you can put stuff around your hangar, all your like items that you've gotten, and you know, cargo and things, vehicles if you want to leave them around your hangar. Uh, you can put those around and they'll stay there. You can come back to your uh, home landing zone and everything will be where you left it. In instance hangers, that's not a thing. What it won't have is well, as much furniture. It probably won't have the port system and mm. it won't have the room system, which we had a version of during the hangar module where we were able to go on the website and plan out how we were want our ships laid out in the hangar. And if you did it right, you could actually make your hangar very wide mm. and then you have very uh, a lot of fun with the ptv now we have like the steve and atlases so i don't I, forget the I, ramps ra- ramps yeah you don't remember them i don't remember <laughs> the, the version of, of the hangar module okay never mind you could, they had, they had ramps so you could you could jump the st uh, the, the uh the the pt t- ptv you could r- ramp the ptv through a, a hoop so the PTV has been doing racetracks and jumps since the beginning. Got it. Nice. Oh, yeah. It's the first working vehicle in Star Citizen. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's how Jared got his job. So, yeah, I'm happy. But, yeah, I don't think we're going to have the, the room system. And I, I don't know if we're going to get personal in the base version, point zero. Mm-hmm. But I, I'm pretty sure we'll get uh, instance hangers instantly. Okay. Fast card. Good, bads. And uh, do you think it's making it? Uh... Okay, I'm, so I'm rereading this, and there's so many things that can go wrong with this um, personal, the instance uh, hanger. I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not sure of my, um, my confidence level <laughs> of, mm-hmm. of, of, of either of those, but I'm hoping that they'll, they'll at least, I, I, I miss the personal hanger, because, I mean, I would, every patch, I would, I would come back in, because, you know, back in the day when we had a hanger, they, they, would, re, they would reset the, um, I would, you know, we said our characters at every pass. So I had to go back and and redecorate my hangar to um to put all my flares and get them every death right, and then 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 wait for the next patch and do it all over again. So I'm really looking forward in, in, into decorating. So I really do hopefully hopefully we get the personal hangar then. But the instance hangar for cargo inventory and vehicles and stuff like that, uh, I mean, should be cool. And like I said, I'm not really, I don't know what my confidence level is. I'm just hoping that they, that they do, that, that, that they do put them in. But, you know, so that's the good. I'll be able to, to, to redecorate again. But the bad is, it officially means that Star Atlas has something that Star Citizen hasn't had for, for a while now. Because the, the, the Star Atlas is getting put my hangers. They're almost following the, the, the Star Citizen path there. So, you know, mm-hmm. they, they can claim something that, that we don't have. But we had oh, yeah. it, but then we lost it. Um, I personally uh, think that, that, it, uh, that the persistence hangers or the, um, the instance hangers are almost certainly going to make it in. I think the personal hangers might slip. Um, and they may go into a third dot one or dot two. Uh, someone, I, I think someone in the, my discord said, I'm surprised about the personal hangers and, uh, Jake pretty much said, why do you think we've been doing a uh, hanger flare on with the, the subscriptions, which meant that CIG was planning on having this release around the same time. Yeah. As each it, other anyways. So it is not a great lighthouse beacon, but it is a subtle one. What flare they're releasing. It's like lore. And, the, like lore. and there's, a, there's a reason why they stopped doing, like, the armor sets and stuff. Because they're like, hey, wait, we are we have at least our ships we can put stuff in. We have our halves that we can kind of put stuff in. and But they've been they've been doing, like, decent, like, setting up of a room kind of uh, hangar flare for the past couple months. Like, with the yeah. plants on your desk and stuff. So, I think... Um, but the, the reason why the instance hangers has to be in, because this is the first of the... Uh, of the stuff we're talking about that is that is required uh, uh, to a degree. I also think that like if we don't, if we have freight elevators, we have to have instance hangers. We have to have the item bank and unique item recovery, and we have to have the cargo hauling and we have to have the, um, the distribution centers because they're not just independent features. They're all connected to one another without the um without the like say for instance the freight elevators you can't have the the cargo hauling missions because they're required for the freight elevators to be able to function in the first place without the um without the cargo hauling missions you can't have the uh the distribution centers because they're that's where they're their main 
their main their main focus is going to be um and you know th- those sorts of things there's a lot of like interdependent um elements of this release where people are like looking at this and going there's a lot of stuff it's like it's actually not it looks long but it's about the same amount as a typical uh amount that cig releases it just looks long because it's on paper it's like 20 something releases or 19 to 20 something yeah, stuff. They, they split these webs of interlocking features into their individual features yes yeah but they all run on the same technology so like yeah. the same basic technology is the same and all of those kind of that underlying tech has to be there for them to work. So if one of them drops, all of them have to drop. So, you know, um, yeah, I, would, I would love to see how how often we actually use instance hangers or necessitate instance hangers. Like, I'd love to get a readout on how many people are trying to use the same hanger. Well, I think or... the instance hanger thing is more about cargo loading and unloading because. Right. So the, right like, now, the problem is if we're in our hangers more there's a higher chance that the more traffic are, is going to come in and yes. need the space that we're taking up. Yeah. I don't also, know how many people you see on a daily basis in star citizen, but I see one. Yeah. But it's <laughs> also, it's also about um, being like called like your ship getting cold, like being mm-hmm. pulled from like, Oh, you're, you've been so waiting too long on the hang on the hanger, that sort of thing. So they have to, yeah, but like they, they kind of prevent that from around happening. even when they're trying to steal my ship. <laughs> That's, um, I mean, uh, if, if we get all these instant changes and personal hangers, are we going to be able to talk in global? I mean, personal hangers, maybe not, but instant changes, we should be able to talk in global. We should. It's just it's yeah. just a separate instance inside the game. Is the, is the um, chat on the server? Or is the chat uh, no, talk it's, to the backend? It's, it's, a, it's a backend. The chat is a backend function. Okay, then yeah. It yeah. can go anywhere. We could so. have a global chat, as in, like, the entire Earth being able to talk to each other. That That'd would be, be a terrible. No. Be a terrible <laughs> idea. Don't do that. No. Idea. That's a bad idea. All <laughs> servers talk to each other. I, I do, I'm, a, I'm, right, I, I'm right here. I'm at the terminal. No, I'm at the terminal. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah. So, I um, I think the bads of it are pretty, pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Because it has to be there for freight elevators, instance hangers... Bads are going to be the same thing as freight elevators, which is, um, we we'll buy personal inventory, we we'll buy personal station inventory. It's going away. No more can you just kind of nudge into the uh, to the to the uh, zone that the your station takes up that you kept all your stuff in, and then just kind of inventory manage. Now you're yeah. going to have to add that extra bit of time to land, go into your uh, your your your. Cargo management, bring stuff up, but I'll get in more detail about that when we talk about the, the freight yeah, elevators. We actually did I, I, a... I do have another potential bad. Uh, you that? know how there's a shelf line hanger, the Revel and York yeah. hanger, the Airbnb yeah. hanger, and the XBG, uh, XBG hanger? Uh, some people may be confused about that because we haven't had hangers in, in, in a while. So say, may, may, people may be asking, well, oh, how do I get this, this particular hanger? You have, to have, you have to have a particular ship. So they may be confusing about that. Maybe may some backlash about that, but we shall see. Yeah, that well, that nowhere near coming in with three twenty three. But yeah, it's that's gonna be have to be something they also like talk about eventually. But I think there was eventually a plan. You can buy in game. You can also buy those hangers when we actually get those. The in- interesting part is gonna be you can't get all hangers everywhere. No, you're not gonna be able to get a Revel in York hanger on Magnus. You're not gonna be able to get an asteroid hanger in Terra. You have to, you know, so, they have to, they have to match with where you can get them. Like, like cell phone, right. you can get everywhere because that's the basic. Yeah, um, yeah. self land is the industrial. We actually have two. We actually have, well, self land is kind of just what we have as far as the industrial, like all the station hangers. Those, that yeah. basically fills the self land. Uh, but we actually have the branded Aeroview hangers. That's all mm-hmm. the high tech hangers we have at Babbage and Orson. Yeah, right. we just don't have the the Revel in New York fancy ones, which probably like Terra or something like that. But and they should also have access one. to. I mean, they should also have access to all of them. But I think at one point CIG said something about how being able to like distribute those hangers as like paid home hangers that you can custom like like uh, personal hangers that you can boot do, but only at the pl- places where they're available. They also so. said something about Org 2.0, so we're not gonna get to. Well, we're not gonna, <laughs> that, that is that is that is some some hopium sort of copium like 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 let's not let's not talk about the the the, the dark magic in the future. Let's talk about what we actually can expect. Yeah, we yeah, we have to have a, a, enough to talk about just by, 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 by itself. 
<laughs> yeah, like um, we're getting all the all the like single player finishing features. We are yeah. not yet to start the MMO finishing features. No, no. Um, but uh, yeah, so so personal instance hangers. Um, I think overall are a good thing though, uh, and and uh, are pushing Star Citizen towards um, what it wants to be in the first place. Uh, speaking of, well, actually, no, wait, is the next one the one I think it is? Uh, no, next one is Moby Glass Rework. So I'm, I'm just looking at the release view and going down for each one. Moby Glass Rework. Okay. I'll, I'll start with you. Uh, I, think, I think I started with Naz last time. No, I started with Fast We wanted it, Paul. All right. So fa- let's just do Fast Cart. Um, let's go with Fast Cart, but let's, let's read what it actually is. Thank you. Um, <laughs> it is Moby Glass Rework, which is. Reworking the Moby Glass, reworking system, to the Moby Glass system to use building blocks, which will also allow for easier development of Moby Glass apps. The app, app, the update includes reworked home maps, contract manager, and journal apps. So uh, this is Ooh. this is good. Um, hopefully, we're get, getting this in. Um, my confidence level is medium on this one. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it, uh, anything bad about this. Yeah, it'd, it'd we be won't something have else. All the jankiness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. No, it'll be something new that, that current players will have to get used to all, all over again. And, you know, people, people always, I don't want to say hate that, but loathe and dislike it. Because when, you know, people tend, tend not to like, like change. But if you change for the better, uh, better to get this in now than, you know, wait for it and, and try to get in later. Um, I mean, and you know, this is something that CIG has been working toward for a long time. It's, they, they've always said that they wanted their mobile class to have different apps and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm getting this in now, but I'm, we'll, you know, enable them to put more apps and stuff like that at their promise. Because, you know, CIG is all about, all about keeping their promises, right? You, you never want to say, CIG broke their promises. And it'll be less never, of that, less of that. Never read the Kickstarter. <laughs> No. <laughs> so yes, I think I think this is a good thing. Uh, I, I'll tell you, seventy percent. That that's my confidence level. I'll, I'll be getting in. What was that? What, what percent? Seventy. Seventy. Seventy percent. Okay. Uh, Naz, same question. Um. Finally, they've only been talking about it for like five years. <laughs> um, uh, I I think it's great. I think like I hope the reskin goes well. Um, there's going to be moving around a lot of stuff. Something that's not mentioned here that was mentioned, and I'm, I also have the list from uh, SCL two weeks ago. Um, something that's not mentioned on this tile, which should be according to Jared, is the shopping app that we're also getting in 323. That's going to be on ISC in a couple weeks. Uh, interesting. But again, like I'm going to be repeating this a lot today. It is the start to something that they will continue to add, and the additions will be footnotes. So we get we get the home screen. Obviously, we can't actually get it without the home screen. Uh, but we get the new map, which we'll talk about later. The contract manager and journal. Journal will probably be a lot more useful than it is now. Um, there also will be channels. As far as what we've seen in the squadron demos, there'll be your journal and then different channels with each information. It's not just... This is your journal, and here's every in, uh, mm-hmm. message that you've gotten in your journal. Um, so there might be, like, in your journal will be a tab for uh, commodity updates. And commodity updates might move to a different app because they can just do that now. Mm-hmm. Please do that, CIG. That's a terrible way of telling me where, who wants what. Yep. Uh, it's going to be in building blocks, so it will look a lot better because they've worked on it. They've worked to integrate it into the rest of the UI uh, with the entire squadron UI team. Any bads? Um, if we don't have the uh, transferring money app that we have now, MoTrader, mm-hmm. uh, that's going to break kind of our entire org system right now. So that will be fun. I think MoTrader is um, built on building blocks, though. So, But they didn't mention it. I'm just, I'm just going true. with what they said. That's true. Um, if, if, that's all the op- if that's all the stuff we get, including the shopping app that we're supposed to hear about in a couple weeks um i fear that we're losing functionality going to a better system okay but so, also, here's a quick, uh, oh go ahead okay. no go ahead 
No, I have a quick question. How much legacy code do you still think is in the game currently? Because the Moby Glass is so legacy. <laughs> Which is a legacy? Lot. It, still, any, it, it still has a lot. Any, any, I think it, the question is really like any, anything that's not currently being supported. Well, there, like, there's two legacy codes. Yeah. There's uh, CryEngine 2 and the stuff they built pre-Lumberyard and then there's post-Lumberyard. Mm -hmm. There's almost no pre-Lumberyard code. They've, yeah. they've said they're... they're 90% done with that code and none of it is critical but lumberyard code obviously the moby glass and stuff like that yeah, yeah just wondering um, um what was it i, I, I can oh. finish it off go ahead uh, this with there was something i was going to say about cargo oh uh this and in the contrast of the cargo elevators is what they talk about when they said we're simplifying th some things but making some things have more traction with uh, having to call your uh, inventory up in the elevator and manually load it into a cargo. That is gameplay necessitated friction. Mm -hmm. But with not gameplay, like trolling around a menu, they want to make that as seamless and as easy as possible. And those are the two uh, balances they're trying to hit in is if it adds gameplay, you can add friction. But if it doesn't add gameplay, make it as smooth as possible. Yeah, I think that's 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 generally what I, I like to point out as well with people who are kind of freaking out about a lot of the the, the more complicated like Star Citizen getting more time wasters is that CIG is planning on removing some time wasters that are not planned to be time wasters and adding things that are more time sinks and time wasters, which are specifically part of gameplay because logistics and inventory management is a gameplay element as much as people hate it. It's like it's part of the game, and if you don't like it, get someone to do it for you because there are gonna be people who do Hi. that for you. Yeah, I like <laughs> so, I like inventory management. In fact, I have I an entire too. org. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, the 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 joke about Star Citizen being a, a secret logistics game is true. It's it's not spreadsheet like like uh, like Eve is, but it's uh, uh, it's it's still it's still close. It's it's a uh, it's a lot more uh, uh, d data management, I guess you could say. Yeah, um, I mean. To be fair, it's not spreadsheet in the game. I do have spreadsheet for Star Citizen outside for sure, of the game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, um, but it's, it, it's interesting how, like, in EVE, it's 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 basically you, you can run the game in spreadsheet, basically. And it's taking... Because Star Citizen is first person, it's, it's allowed to get more tactile, and they like using that word. Um, yeah. And the items that you're moving are more realistic, like you can you can you can go there and you can like mine them out of the ground by hand and things. So like it, it it's much easier to see them visually and spatially. Uh so chat has been bringing up a bunch of features which aren't on the roadmap and asking why we haven't talked about them. Uh the answer is because it's not on the roadmap. If it's not on the roadmap, <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's going into the game or not. Uh because it's probably not CIG hasn't even doesn't even have the, the confidence of saying it's tentative in the game. So well, I mean, I, we could spend a half hour just to talk about the measurement. I don't, I don't mind. <laughs> oh. We could spend an hour talking about the endeavor. I don't mind. So that I can like, talk about. Yeah. So the thing, the, the cult of the endeavor. Uh, so the the, the, the <laughs> thing, the thing about um, about like things like Vulcan coming in is like, I do I think Vulcan's coming in a hundred percent. I think Vulcan's coming in based off of in this next patch, based off of what they they said in the past. But they haven't put it on the roadmap yet. And if it's not on the roadmap, I don't, I don't CIG hasn't, on the roadmap. hasn't even given a fifty percent chance. Or I think it's I think it's sixty. When it goes tentative, it's like a sixty percent chance it's going to make it in the game. When's the last so, time we had a core tech? tile we we haven't had a core tech in a long time set. oh wow that that went way back yeah, way all the way to three yeah. you gotta go you gotta, you gotta look in there <laughs> 311 311 nope that's 314 318 318 okay. 318 so was course, the last one. yeah pes hmm. and g12 gen 12 not g12 same thing the car is the feature right yeah. uh but I think Vulcan is actually going to be on uh, Patch Watch, not on a tile, because as we've as they move to this three six months out form, they've also said, "What do plebs care about?" Yeah. If plebs don't care about it, it doesn't go on the release view. Yeah, because it, it also confuse people. Because if you put Vulcan on the core tech, people will think that Vulcan the shit is coming in. <laughs> well, we have because CIG's bad at naming things. We're also they also have Vulcan. 
the the uh, the ship coming. The ship, in. yeah, the ship. Oh, oh, God. But it, it, to be but to, to CIG's defense, Vulcan was named not by CIG. The 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 API system was not named as CIG. It just CIG just happens to have naming conventions. But but they didn't name the ship after Vulcan. The API was already out though. So that's true. But it's named after the, the god of <laughs> the god of uh, right, right, right. Volcanoes in fire. Yeah, the god of forges, forges. So. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll, I'll go over mine pretty quickly about the Moby Glass rework. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a great update. And, I, and that is a good way of putting it is that we don't know if they're removing all of the volca- all of the volcanoes, all of the, um, <laughs> the, got, kill them all, kill all the brain. Vulcans. <laughs> um, I don't know if they're getting rid of all of the apps and just only releasing those, those couple of apps. I don't think that's going to happen. I think anything that's been built with both with building blocks since then is going to be made, make it in. Um, and I also think they're going to keep all of the stuff we currently have that's not built with building blocks, just because like uh, oh gosh, what's the what's the big one? Um, the uh, the ship um, the the chat Nick and Max. the uh, uh, the ship the ship changer thing like like I hate those things. Oh, vehicle both manager, awful. The vehicle the manager, vehicle management both app. Off, they're both awful, and they're not coming. They're not getting updated. And it's to keep that in point mind. There is only four apps coming in with it, which is still it's a big update and they're reworking the whole thing. But as with everything, like I, like when they did the cargo update and they did PES, it's basically CIG is trying to get these new features to the same parity of what we already have rather than like building new features. So a lot of it is just upgrading stuff to what we have now, but in new shiny and better tools. So um, do I think it's gonna make it in? Yeah. Almost certainly, yeah. Uh, I don't know how many of the apps are going to be converted by that time, but I'm almost certainly it's at least a, uh, one of those that's coming in 3.23, uh, if not dot one and dot two. So, um, all right, and uh, let's move on to the next one, and I'll start with you on this one, Naz. The FPS loot screen, uh, and it's specifically with the FPS loot screen. It says, uh, "There you are. Uh, that's the FPS mini map." Uh, it's just called loot screen. There it is introducing a new screen for looting official or official looting critical <laughs> items quickly during allowing for more reliable <laughs> Only inventory official management. Official items can be looted from this corpse. <laughs> uh, <laughs> al- allowing for more reliable inventory management in tense situations. And they showed it off at Citizen Con for those who kind of know what it looks like. It looks pretty. Not cool. long enough. I wish they'd spent the amount of time on this loot screen as they did for the player interaction, the hitting the button thing, like. Mm-hmm. Show us the intricacies of this, please. <laughs> um, goods, bads, isn't making it in. Uh, goods, it's quick inventory management, so you can do simple tasks easy. Again, streamlining stuff that's not gameplay rich. Um, bads, the art I saw looked like it was really floaty in the middle of the screen and didn't wasn't really anchored anywhere. Mm-hmm. And so it looked like it was far away in front of you, but it wasn't anchored anywhere. It looked kind of just like it was... Like, it was built for a different resolution of the screen. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's, like, my biggest negative. Because um, you can store stuff from that screen. You don't have to, oh, I want to actually put this in my bag. I close the loot screen, open the inventory screen. It, you can actually just say, okay, well, I'm quick looting. Actually, I want to pick up that thing, too. Send to backpack. So it's it's a really uh, in-situ uh, kind of UI and uh, system. And it's very, uh, again, tactile. Um, the only thing I don't see and haven't seen is how easy it is to get attachments off gun specifically. If it doesn't have that, it's kind of a, eh, but mm. it'd be nice to have that because if you're trying to get, if like, if you're trying to build a weapon on the battlefield, like that's a, kind of a necessary thing. Okay. Uh, fast card. Same question for you. Goods, bads. Is it going to make it in? Um, the is it just the same? Just the same feature that people you, you can you can to uh, shortcut to double clicking and, and single clicking and, and it will just do that um that um pick, pick, pick up the uh, the loot or or whatever that that that's a different feature. So this is a different feature. This one is when you when you go to loot and you click loot. Um, there are there's probably two different buttons now where where you go to actually interact with the with like a corpse. Okay. Right. You, you will have the ability to just pull up a quick screen, which will just have like the weapons, the ammo, the health packs and armor. And that's it. Okay. And, uh, okay. and so you won't be able to get all this, the, 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 like the, 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 you won't see the nitty gritty in like someone's backpack or all that kind of stuff. It's just that sort of thing. But they will. Yeah. They I, did I, say I, they I, are I, adding I, armor. Yeah. Okay. 
I, I was just making sure I, I had the right feature so I can um, give comment. But I, I think it's good because they're catching up to other games because, you know, they had this, this hurt looting for how many years now? And people, it's not really a, a, a modern feature in, in um, first, first Star Citizen or in, 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 in current gaming in general. Uh, a lot of people want it. Uh, the bad... <clears throat> Again, I've been saying this for uh, almost all the features. It's something for, for people to get used to. Um, but I, I don't think it'll be a, a, that big a deal compared to, to other features. Uh, my confidence level for loot screen, uh, give it an 85, 90%. My opinion. Um, I'm going to say with my own good and bad, uh, it, good, it's going to improve sig life significantly for most people. Um, in terms of looting. And I think bads is it'll simplify it a little bit, which is okay. I know a lot of people are, this. there's a conversation going on in the Star Citizen community right now, which is a lot of people are freaking out about 3.23 because they feel like it's making the game an arcade game. Everything from the the changes oh. in master modes to the uh, to the dynamic uh, crosshair, they're just like this is. N this next is time the game somebody I says that, it's just a... send them Death of a Spaceman. Just send yeah. them the actual article, Death of a Spaceman. Mm. It's like read this and cry. <laughs> um, it, it, on top of that, you can look at things like the current how things are how you get injured in Star Citizen currently and what it does to you and how 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 like debilitating injuries can be in, in, in the game right now. And then add them on top of all of these sorts of things. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 it, it, it there's a lot of conversations going on, especially amongst like the more hardcore PVP combat crowd about these sorts of things. And, and I Which think this, hardcore, like the, the looter shooter people or the, the Tarkov running gun people, the, the Tark Tarkov people, Tarkov. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's the, the Tarkov, the, the, that sort of crowd, uh, are the people who are kind of more, or you know, and the PV, PVP people who are into like, like with with uh, master modes. There's a lot of a lot of discussions about that. Um, oh, go but, ahead. Uh, but the the point being that this is going to both improve life for those people, and people are going to grumble about it. But the improvement to life, I think, is going to be that, like in reality, if you look at somebody and they have like. A, a magazine attached to their belt. You could probably reach over and pull that magazine off, no problem. So this is just simulating that process compared to opening someone's backpack and rooting through it and figuring. I'm out pretty what's sure going that's on. still going to be a thing, though. It is. You still like can the be interaction to... system will still allow you to see item, pick up item. You don't have to worry about your body. Oh, I see the item there, but I need to open a screen first. Let me open a screen. Yeah, but, but like if you see the item, you should be able to grab it. Yeah, but I mean the loot screen works the same way because if someone's on their on their face, you should still also, be able. It's to... It's also faster. Yeah, it's also faster. That, that's what I mean. Is that it's 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 even it's even going to be faster than the interaction system, which will improve will improve time. And I think it's it's a quality of life update. It's you're sacrificing some things for other things. So uh, you know, and do I think it's going to make it in? It seemed like it was a pretty well done system in in Squadron, so I don't see it not making it in. Um, um, this this patch and you're gonna hear this a lot from us i think i think most yeah. of us are pretty confident about most of these these features so um and most of it's the ui team yeah uh, and that's and that's and that's the point is that all of this stuff is connected like the loot screen is connected to the visor and and hud update which is building connected block to the crosshair which is connected to the maps they're all building blocks but they're all built on the same sort of start point instead of building individual parts and putting them together they started off with like the new maps and then like a uh, map system and then built that into the mobile glass which is built into everything else so all of it is connected as to one part anything that deals with the ui is the one team that built it all so it's almost um, like this is a Jesus patch it's not the Jesus patch, okay? No, so I, I refuse to admit somebody, that. Somebody, someone was saying like a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff, so there's a lot of stuff here to break. So I've nicknamed this the imp patch, uh, the imp uh, patch, because it's it's the the little demon you don't know, don't see coming. Mm -hmm. Um, so this is the imp patch, because like wow, so many features, everything's going to break. Yeah, there are so many points of failure in this patch. Um, and then 4.0 is the uh, demon of light patch. It's the thing we need, but it's going to be a heck of a time getting through it. Mm -hmm. I'm, just gonna say, I'm just going to say, I'm just going to say, it's going to be the Holy Ghost patch, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
All right, uh, let's move on to the next section, which is, um, <laughs> like I said, this is a long one. We're not even halfway through the gameplay stuff. So nope. um, this, this, this is the section's going to be long. But uh, the next one is the FPS map system. So that's what it say? an appropriate one. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, FPS map system. I'm trying to f speed it up, so it's hard to like read all of them. Implementing a mini map for the HUD as well as the interior maps for FPS gameplay, helping players stay oriented in close quarters encounters. So it gives you a little mini map in the top left, which just kind of like a holographic readout of where you are and what's what's around you. Um, fast card, goods, bads, and do you think it's coming out? Uh, I'm hoping it's coming out because a lot of people are looking forward to wanting it. Um, the bad. Uh, I, 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 was it on the ISC or SCL? I, I think it was the, the two, two fighters ago, the, the first mm -hmm. SCL of the year. They were saying that it's hard to do because they have to put the, the, the interiors of the maps on for every ship and, and, and everything. So I think like it's going to be difficult for CID to implement because I think in, in, in the first iteration, there'll be some places that, that may not have a map. You know, because mm -hmm. it, 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 it'll be iterative, so that, that's my bad. The good is a lot of people, a lot of places will have maps. So, you know, that, 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 you know that's, that's good. Yeah, because Orson <laughs> has one. Yeah. So, um, my confidence level, 80, 85%. Um, yeah. Okay. yeah, pretty high. Um, that's good. I mean, I, 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 there's so many good, good stuff about it. It's like, you know, a lot of people uh, don't think about um uh, uh looking up at the uh walls and ceilings and stuff like that in game but they're, they're expecting a mini map but for people who want uh, immersion and stuff like that they can hopefully still turn it off right mm -hmm. it, 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 it'll be it'll be something you can activate and, and turn off so if you want that immersion and you can just run around like a like like cig or like uh star citizen is Second life or whatever, you, you, you hopefully we still have the option. Okay. Uh, now, nah, same question for the, with the uh, FPS map. Uh, is it going to come in? Yes, because they've said they're like they're going to cut con. Well, they're going to they don't have content done, and they're going to release it anyway. So I'm pretty confident it's going to be in here. Uh, definitely, maybe like three crayons out of a marker. Um, the goods is obviously like we get so much better spatial awareness. And we get uh, waypoints, naming checkpoints. Um, so it's hard to divorce the FPS map from the star map. Yeah. Um, because the FPS map, I'm pretty sure, is the, the level of detail of walking around, not just the one up in the corner, but it's it's the local map. Yeah. And then the star map is just the zoomed out local map. <laughs> so it's really mm -hmm. hard to divorce them. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be amazing to like be able to see. It's going to be amazing to be in ships and to be able to see their map. The amount of resources that the internet, like uh, sc.tools, um, mm. all of the uh, sites that do uh, stat tracking, the, the ability to see a map is so important. I think uh, not many ships, but I know the C2 on sc.tools has an interior map with all the components and resource base and this is going to just hand them that data front and center it's going to be amazing yeah bads like fast cart said like not everything's going to be there mm -hmm. not every ship and not every location though a positive about not all not not a positive but a taking some of that territory back from the negative is that most of the environment and most of the ship is already done like it is it does take it reads the environment and says okay this is what the geometry of the environment is the stuff they have to go back and work on is the markups. What is a door? What is a chest or a container? What is a, uh, a landing area or an airlock or landing gear? You know, those are the things they have to go back and say what this is to the map system. So I can say, Hey, there's a door here. There's an elevator here. You can take the elevator here and come out here. So we will still be able to like run into a cave and see the geometry of the cave. We just won't mm -hmm. be able to see, if there's any bad guys in it or, well, maybe I don't know how they do people in map yet. Mm -hmm. Um, what containers are in there? What, like if you're in prison, I don't know if they'll have a map there, but it won't show you like the oxygen containers if they don't mark those up. So, yeah. but you'll have the geometry of the environment. So that's good. Um, and uh, chat, uh, 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 chat's already bringing uh, up the fact that there's no checkpoints and no, uh, custom markers and, or naming in 3.23. Oh no. So, 
Yeah. Uh, I, another I bad point. Yeah. Another bad point is that you know certain rants like like a relative rant will be outdated now because you know the, the, one of her rants is that the, 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 she, she wanted a map and now that they're getting a map it'll be outdated. Um, for me, I think uh, the game is I'm, I'm almost losing a little bit of something. They are losing a bit of immersion because because you know even though it's gamified having a mini map, um, some people like that about about uh, Star Citizen. So. Some people will be um, disappointed, put it that way. Yeah, I, I think there's going to be a, a good a good medium because I think this first. It's also important to note that I think CG is going to force a lot of gameplay that people don't want early on because they just want to put it in the game and they're just going to leave it on so they can te- they can test yep. it. Um, uh, and so a lot of people also made... get mad, but uh, you know, eventually it'll be they'll they'll curl, curl back some things. So what yeah. do you say? Uh, somebody also mentioned in the YouTube chat that this is the beginning of info running. This is the beginning of exploration gameplay. The data they have in the map, not yet, yeah. it's, but it's, it's, it's primed for this gameplay. The hooks are there that when you go to a new place, yes, your scanner, like your, your Moby Glass, your suit scanner, whatever scanner, the ethereal scanner is in your suit, um, can look around and say, okay, here's the immediate geometry. It can't necessarily save that data. So you're going to need to save that data to somewhere but then you can go scan a planet and save that data and then sell the mapping data. This is the, the getting this map system in is the beginning of that. Yes, that system's probably like at least a year out, probably more like two or three, but it's still, they've said like, this is the mapping system that lets us do that. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's so I was going to say that the goods and bads are the goods are, is it's going to give us a better spatial awareness especially for players who don't know what they're doing. Like, yeah, the map system, like you, you definitely want like, like good, uh, like screens and stuff like that, but being able to look at it and be like, okay, so we see it goes up this way, this way. And I know people are like, are people that stupid? Yes. Yes. Not people are that stupid. stupid. Like there are some that are for sure. Like I'll, I'll never argue against stupid. There is, people, but there is, there is there a story I heard. People I, I, I was, have, Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> there is a story, a legitimate story I've heard where somebody didn't know how to get out of the bed. They spent two hours in game. How do you not just not start able... hitting keys? That's what I said. That's what I, it's just like you, you, you just can okay, accidentally so get out also, of the bed. There yeah. is also a condition that makes you spatially challenged. The, like, I, mean, I don't. I don't think that was the case because this person sounded like they were uh, like like they played video. Well, not games. hitting keys is a different issue, but be, walking into a room and not being able to remember where the door was is a thing. That's true. That's true. So this map is 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 good for them. Like it is an accessibility thing, but like there are people who run through caves and get lost in caves. Like we actually have to go save like the NPC versions. Yeah. That's a thing. People backspace out of caves all the time because they mm. can't find the door. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Um, and for the quick question is which can get you out of bed? Literally any of them. You hit any button, and it'll other than can you really do any button now? Well, W A S and D will get you out. Any of the W A S and D keys will get you out. How do you miss W A S D and Y? Yeah, or you can also hit the keyboard. You can also hold down F. Why? Why is that? Is not in in quarter, but W A S D. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So the. The my my thought on the whole thing is is where's like <laughs> where's the any key yeah where's um, the any key <laughs> the, the the answer is it's, it's a quality of life upgrade for, especially for people who are not familiar with with locations they do have signage and that kind of stuff um, and I do think we're gonna for, they're gonna force it upon us early so everyone's gonna have access to it but I also don't think that's going to be the case later on the line they're going to kind of pick and choose what systems what what map local maps you have access to like if you have mm. a home location you'll probably have access to that that local map and the local maps yeah. to your ships but you won't necessarily have local maps to all the stations you go to you have to download them but i think in the first release and we'll have some of them and the bads will be that some of them won't be there but also that you're forced to have them even if you don't want them uh the, i also sure just thought of like turn them off. uh with building interiors you might not have every individual building's map you'll have to go to lobby and download the map no. or Places that you don't have access to, you probably won't have the employee maps that you have to do some sleuthing to or hacking to get. Yeah, that's uh, something like the chairman's club in Orison. Like you probably pl- not everyone who plays the game has access to that that space. Not that anyone has access right now, but eventually. Um, 
but you, you walk up to the door and you open your mini map, you shouldn't be able to see through the walls into like what that space looks like because mm-hmm. you don't have access. And not every store needs to give you like where each mannequin is on the floor. Yeah. So there'll probably be, you know, simpler blockouts that like Orison would have saying, This is this store, this is this store, this is like a mall map. And then if need be the the they have the option of like giving the the more detailed maps. I do have to give one public service announcement, a PSA. Shift, control, and alt would not, would not get the audit bad. Just letting people know. Okay? <laughs> those keys will not get the audit bad. Even though they are in a key, they, those don't work. But I heard uh, alt uh, F4 does. That'll get you out of the bed mm. real fast. <laughs> uh, just, just by removing the bed and you and oh, everything. Escape in- key. Yeah, escape. The, the escape key will not get you out of the bed, even though it, it's intuitive because you know you want you want to escape it from the bed. Um, okay, so, you, but, so you're ready for spend the next half an hour on this next one? No, I mean the, the basic the basic gist of this one, as we say, for the uh, uh, for the for the FPS map system is it's a good addition, but the bads of it, and I think it will come in because they've already said that they're marking it up. The bad the bad part is that it won't have all of the systems they want to, and it'll also force players who don't want it to have it. So it's you know the 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 bad is there are people who want them all won't have them all and the people who uh don't, who don't want, want them at all have it. will have to have it so it's the worst of 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 both worlds in a, in a small sense I, um, okay so i'm slightly confused why don't people want it and why can't they shut it off or is that well, like oh if i have it i'm going to use it because i have like because game um, I think a lot of people are, uh, don't want to be, because they, they're like, oh, like, oh, well, in real life, I don't have a mini map of where I am. Go to any mall exactly. that is still open and you will have a mini map on your phone. Well, yeah, I was going to say like, yeah, yeah you, but it's you, not in your vision. You got to hold, you got to hold your hand up. Yeah. But I mean, you're, you're by a vision pro. Based. You have a map of your house. Give me this $600. Technology exists. Give me $600. This is 900 years in the future. <laughs> I mean, I don't like that argument, but even even then, like like I can I can pull up like Google Maps on my phone and know the local area on my phone within seconds. See, I, that's why I didn't choose Google Maps because that I can get to like the the star map. That's why I would say the star map is because. But you can how go we traverse all, a town go, is how we traverse. You can go system. all the way down into the into the nitty gritty for it, and and there's a lot. There of are some there. actually. There are some Google Maps that you can zoom in into buildings. That's true. With some and walk around buildings. But, but the yeah. point being, the point being is that I know some people don't like that because they, uh, uh, because they, because it, it ruins their immersion. Because it wasn't built in the nineties. Yeah. Um, the, 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 the problem is, is that it's also a accessibility device. So like, and that's the reason why I don't like that argument because it's like, it helps people who are new to the game, who don't know the regions to help them, but you won't be force fed them in the future. You'll just have them for, for some cases and not have them in others. This doesn't mean you're going to have a mini map of every place that's ever been. Like your mini map is going to be blank when you land on a planet in the middle of nowhere. Cause you don't have access to it. It's only the places that will be marked up that will have them. So, um, something Starfield uh, actually got right. Yeah, uh, and 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 people are saying are like, they, they should be available and you'd be forced. You're not going to be forced to have them in the future. You're just going to be forced to have them in Q3. I think. I don't think you're going to be so, able to turn them off. So, so what Nova Force is saying that Star Citizen uses Google Maps, uh, Starfield uses Bing Maps or Yahoo Maps. Oh, it's so <laughs> much worse than that. They use uh, they use Audacity for their maps. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I don't know if you've opened a, a map in Starfield. It's a it's a field of dots. You have no idea what's in front of you. There's barely oh, any icons it, on it. it, it, it. It's, it's an audio it's program. Sound yeah. Program. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah okay. Audacity, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was just making it all like, wait, what? <laughs> no, it's exactly as confusing as you think. It's terrible. Um, and like, okay, I'm not gonna go down the rabbit hole of, of Audacity because it's, it's a great rabbit hole though. All right, we, now we're gonna go down the rabbit hole of cargo hauling because we're still not done. Yeah, we're we about, are. We're about okay. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> we're a little, we're almost halfway there. We're almost halfway. Ooh, there. Counting just makes it worse, Paul. Counting just makes it worse. Uh, all right. Okay. So, so what is it? It's cargo hauling, and I'm going to read it off for you, which is. Um, the new mission's cargo hauling. Making the use of the freight elevators feature, this mission type will have players hauling large quantities of cargo to earn both AUEC and reputation. And I do want to start off with a very, very simple uh, um, notification that it says making use of the freight elevators feature. 
So if you don't see, if this freight elevators doesn't make it in, there's no way cargo haulings make it in, to give you an example. So, yeah. So um, I think it was, no, but it was, I'm, I was I'm last, I think track. It's, it's, last, it's so fast card. Fast card. Um, uh, goods, bads, and do you think it's going to make it in for the, the cargo hauling missions? It's good. It's great for people who have the whole C and, you know, mm-hmm. want to make use of, of the whole C. Um, people who uh, I love that truck uh, hauling, whether that's in real life or, or in game or both, um, this would be great for them. Um, the bad, um, I can't really think of anything bad for me, in my opinion. Uh, my confidence level, like you said, it depends on the, 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 the freight elevator. So maybe... 60 to 70 percent uh i'll say 70, 75 percent confidence level in that okay uh naz please try to keep it keep it keep it short please maybe <laughs> <laughs> the good is that this is this is cargo hauling this is finally cargo hauling. this is not trading this is cargo hauling this is the thing that every other game starts with Literally every other space game starts with, hey, I have a package. Go deliver this amount of cargo over there. Like, I, even Starfield started with that. <laughs> um, so, something that, uh, was it, Citizen News said cargo hauling might need instant sanger suit? Yes. All these things are connected. Yes. All all of these things are connected. It's all connected. This, this thing over here. <laughs> this thing and this... <laughs> Yeah. Look at the uh, board. All right. I got a yeah, big board. board. All isn't connected. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I broke in. Yeah. <laughs> um, so not only is this, uh, basically it's a bigger box mission is what boils down to. Hello, frozen camera. Um, and, but you get to use, you know, your C2s, your whole Cs, your, your actual cargo ships. And eventually the, the raft when they actually decide, that the raft needs actual love again. Mm-hmm. Um, and and this is very much the backbone of a lot of future gameplay. This is the backbone of um, all of base building. It's the backbone of a lot of the um, new uh, dynamic missions or mm-hmm. dynamic, uh, dynamic events. It's the start of guild reputation. I don't know if this is exactly going to get the guild reputation in. They haven't said a lot about what reputation except for hostilities coming in. So assume no reputations coming in except where it will be available there. So exactly what we have in game now, which is just there'll be some factions that you'll get better reputation with. Uh, but it it lets the game, it lets cargo haulers not have to deal in stock. <laughs> And instead, just say, hey, Art Corp, you're moving engines, right? Yeah, trillions every day. We need them out of here and to where they're going. And you can go there and pick up engines and then ship them out to Magnus, probably, because they build ships over there. Um, so this what this is another one of the reasons why the economy team wanted the gateway stations in is because the whole sea is going to be very important now. Um. So it's it's the the bad I think, it, bad, bad for cargo hauling. Oh, right. it's, it's five years late. Oh. No. <laughs> is that really a bad? Okay, fine. I, I'm going to go on a limb here. We got my, mining, my, hand mining, vehicle mining, ship mining. Then we got refueling. Then we got salvaging. Then we got more salvaging. And they okay, forgot the okay. first ship they put in the game was the the stupid cargo ship, the Andromeda. And they're like, yeah, we'll we'll we'll, we'll get to that. Like, I I will I will I will say that there is no bad for this. It is it is perfect. It's wonderful. No notes. Um, and and, <laughs> and the fact that we're actually getting cargo hauling. The only thing I will say is that it's probably going to be more limited. It's going to probably not be super di- super crazy and dynamic early on, but it's going to be good enough and and the other the, i'll say there's one bad is that it's heavily connected to everything else right. and because it's that so heavily, bad okay it's because it's so heavily connected to everything else is that it's not coming in if one of those things like if if cart for whatever reason cargo elevators doesn't make it in like half of this gameplay is gone it's just yeah. going to disappear from this roadmap so it, it, everything is so connected in this that it's and either for it's all or nothing uh, distribution centers <laughs> and instance hangers. yeah like it, it's going to fail and it will probably, if any of those three things, uh, 
elevators, no cargo missions. Uh, instance hangers or distribution centers, it will be either gutted or delayed with it. Yeah, exactly. So, um, outposts will have its own elevator. Yeah, outposts have their own elevators. They actually showed it off in a uh, in a preview at one point Maybe, of, yeah. of it. It so may or may not kill you. It may. <laughs> I don't, so that's going to be something that I can't wait to see the videos on. Like day one, Eva Cotti with freight elevators. Stick your friend in the elevator and push the button. See what happens. And push the button. See what happens. It, <laughs> may, it may not even work. Um, uh, yeah, they do have like systems that like like even the stupid cargo system for the whole sea right now. It's like, oh, there's another ship in the cube. You know, like we can't transfer cargo. It's yeah. like it's the cops and they're scanning me while I'm trying to load. So speaking of all of this, the next one is actually directly connected to, I think, the the all of this, which is the dynamic event blockade runner. And the dynamic event blockade runner says introducing a new dynamic event that involves a criminal faction, Nine Tails, locking down an LEO and 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 L1 slash L2 rest stops. Players must run the blockade and purchase and sell per, um, a percentage of quantanium before time runs out. So that yeah, is a start with this good, bad, and uh, is it making it in? Is it making it in? I'm pretty sure they've been testing it. So yes. Um, I think they're in early testing. I've not been keeping up. I tried to stay away from actual spoilers. Um, good. It, they've they've said they've done a lot of work and it's a lot more fun now. Bad. It's another combat, well, not really combat focused, but half combat focused um, thing. It's not just move cargo. It's move far, move cargo, but you're being fired at. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, they're like. We we can we can do like just gather resource missions, guys. We can have just like, oh no, like somebody there was a ship that got lost in space somewhere. We need like thousands of titanium. Go get, like that's that's a good good event, guys. But it's simple. Um, I I I look forward to actually being able to play it because both times it's run previously the the Nine Tails lockdown mission. I've not been able to play it, so I'd, I'd like to be able to try it once. Um, it's interesting that's only con- Quantanium, not Aid, because uh, they are supposed to be like violently oppressing this, these stations. I, I think the, the idea is that this is the first version where they're just using Quantanium, but the idea is that they can replace Quantanium with whatever they want in the future. So Makes sense. Um, like it, it has all the fixings of just a cargo, a dynamic cargo mission. Yeah. X amount of stuff move from here to here. And which can also be done from a what it, you can do it uh, cargo pirate or mining. Mm-hmm. Like even though it'd be really funny to have you pirate the quantanium to then sell in a, at a lawful place, it'd be hilarious. But if they like say we need X amount of you know uh, barrel, you could either go buy the barrel and ship it in, or you could go mine the barrel and ship it in, or you could pirate a miner and ship it in. <laughs> like I think. I, I would love to see just like smaller dynamic missions that again aren't like posted on the website. That's just like, hey, we lost a mining ship or we lost a cargo shipment of X resource. We need to ship it in. Like those could run like every weekend or so, like every yeah. other weekend, just kind of like randomly just pop a couple of them in there when I, the servers are a bit slow. I'm going to talk about it a little bit when, when, when I talk about it. But yeah, I, I, have, I have some uh, thoughts on that. Uh, Fast card, uh, your thoughts on the, the, right new, the new. Um... A dynamic event. blockade runner. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I I believe it's making it in. Um, it's the good is that it's a new mission. It sounds like it's piece of Dino Threat or one aspect of Dino Threat when they um the, the, the loading cargo and 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 getting or well, two aspects and and delivering the cargo. Um, the good another good thing is it's a space so players like me can pop can probably probably participate because I'm not really good at FPS. But I, I mean, I, I, I'll be the people who, who, who help keep the ship running while other people don't load it. So that would be me. Um, the bad people tend to get bored of new missions pretty quickly, but that's not TIG fault. That's just a, a, a gaming aspect. So, but that, that that's potentially a, a, a bad. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh yeah, I, I believe it's making it in. Okay. Um, I, with me, I'm, I'm really like it, the goods is, uh, nine tails lockdown sucked. It was always the worst one of it. It was always long. It was too long for what it did and it was, it failed all the time. So this is just kind of a replacement for it, which is more heavily more focused on the thing, the thing that I think dynamic events should be, which is you could take this and put it anywhere. 
Like this, this, the blockade could be anywhere. And, and because it could be dynamically generated, both the resources and the, uh, the, the, like the, the criminal factions, you can, CIG could easily plop this into a quantum like system for dynamic missions and go. And as Naz, Naz was saying um, earlier, I think this is really that, that, that step in that direction where instead of getting a siege of Orison, which is requires a very specific, it's very specific event. It's very narrative based. It has very specific, like, like, like objectives, which are not bespoke, they're bespoke rather than modular. Um, and they've desperately tried to modularize it a little bit so they can use it and maybe, you know, maybe use some of these parts in the future. Um, or Xeno threat, which is a similar thing. Uh, this, this feels like this and jump town feel like actual, like dynamic events, things that I could see be spawned by players because they did X, Y, or Z or CIG just like, let's shake things up, boop, you know, push a button and it goes. So um, I was just saying that um, as you came back, Naz, I was, I was saying that uh, the, uh, I think this feels like that whole movement towards that whole uh, CIG can just drop a blockade whenever they want to because this feels modular. It feels like you could move around, like this can move around. You're muted, by the way. Naz, you muted. You probably muted yourself in Discord. <laughs> yeah, I did when I left the room. I just want to know how the mod, <laughs> the the dynamicness is going along. Yeah, that's a good question. Because uh, last because, time we heard it was it was it was put on hold. So yeah, uh, because when it is truly dynamic, more likely than not, they were not they're not going to make posts on the website anymore. No. And that's when I'll enjoy the dynamic missions. Not that, hey guys, we're running a thing to get the player count up and to test yeah. something else that we're trying to do. Just the game being a game. I, I don't doubt that CIG will will have big big staple like like dynamic events that they kind of like poster board like that or they they billboard like like they'll like they'll give big signs on the website and be like There's something yeah, crazy. Well, ILW this weekend, and but, yeah. Uh, those are literally I.e. are those events. big poster board like things. They are also dynamic events. But I mean, like if if players have done a certain number of things and they're like they're like, oh, well, they've hit all these points. We're going to start bringing in like because they've, they've even talked about it in one of the uh, stars and lives like with Xeno threat. They're doing a pre Xeno threat thing. And I do wonder if they actually took on my because I actually did a big uh, not a big video. I did a video reviewing Xeno threat when it first released talking about improvements I would make. And one of the things I said was it doesn't feel very narrative and it feels very placked on. Like what I, what I, the suggestion I said was if Xenothread is actually planning on invading a system, you would have pickets, you would have scouting in force, you would have recon teams coming in to find out weak points of the defenses of Stanton before they actually came in. And so to make it feel like an invasion by Xenothreat, you should have the, the days or weeks leading up to the event, you should have Xenothreat is attacking various stations or it's, it's probing the defenses of Jericho and they're calling for aid and players are coming in to help out and, uh, and slowly... And it also shouldn't escalates. show up right in the face of a giant military base. Yeah. <laughs> um, like that, that like should where be should the... we attack in this very open uh, place where obviously Lorville doesn't really care about security? Hmm. How about this heavily guarded with a javelin in dry dock base? <laughs> but I mean, like that, that feels like that should be the culmination of the event, not not the entire event. Like, yeah, like, they're going after the javelin. So they need to, like, break through the, all the defenses. They, and, they've and they've already it. they've already like 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 softened up the, 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 the forces. So they know that, like, these forces are, are, are damaged and we're, we're, like we're healing. And that gives the players the attempts to, like, stop the Xeno threat, the, like, uh, it, like, like probes or join it. Like, or join it and and those sorts of those sorts of things to make it a little bit more dynamic and and CIG can see those and then kind of manually ch adjust things as they need to if they want to. Yeah. I still think we have those sort of events, but this event feels I, I also much more want like to see it can just spawn on its own if they want to. Yeah, so. I also want to see it more tied to the jump point now that now the locations in game, not just being at Mikkel One, mm -hmm. but to actually like something closer to the jump point happening. Like maybe we get like we get at um, Invictus where we can where the fleet actually travels like so they spawn at the jump point. They actually travel across the system. That'd be cool. Um, I'm, I'm interested. I'm interested in how, how, how this blockade actually works. Because if it's in space, space is actually hard to blockade because it's so mm -hmm. big. But we'll see. Yeah. The, the um, point of uh, space blockades, as far as I, I know, is, is you can't you can't like blockade a planet effectively 
but you can blockade well if you have hyperlanes you you can blockade the hyperlane and that's why they're doing it around stations because there's yeah. only so many ways into a station yeah okay. and as they usually they like lock down the entire region around it so it's like a quantum field that you can't mm -hmm. break so they so just get pulled and... out and then you have to slow boat in and if they have any kind of sensors that can find you they'll be able to find you pretty easily um so let's go to the next one. Uh, I believe uh, Fastcart was the last one to, to talk. So player interaction experience. And the player interaction experience says, implementing the updated player interaction experience, a holistic way of complement of uh, complementary features and systems all related directly to the player. The player status, item status, environment status, as well as interactions with both the game world and the objects within it are covered under these systems. Goods, bads, and do you think it's going to make it? I'll be right back. Now, this is the thing that you, if you double click the uh, yes. the interaction, okay, this yeah. was the thing. All right, good. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it's good because it's um, streamlining the um, the building blocks and um, the glass and stuff like that. Well, for AR, put it that way. So I, I believe that's a positive. Uh, the bad, I, everything I see is say it's something something new to get used to, and you know the, the first. The first iteration may not be as fully featured as um as they, they may hope to may have iteration, but there will be iteration. I don't think it'll be um it'll be one and done definitely. Um, I am hmm, eighty percent confident about this one, I think. But it's you no, know, but yeah, it's, um, it's a lot of good. Uh, it's it, 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 it update for the game, make a game look more modern. As I said that before, but yeah, I, I don't, I don't really see too much bad. It's something, something to get, something to get used to. Okay, Nova. Um, uh, the the only question I have about this is where's the ping? Where's the environmental ping? Um, I mean, this is what I'm. I'm. This is that's scanning. Which isn't in the game yet. So. Oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? Uh, yeah. But it's kind of like the same system. It's similar to the system, <laughs> but but one of the th realities is that scanning, FPS scanning is going to be connected to scanning gameplay for everything. If if, if any of this is, is an indication of how CIG is going, scanning is going to be a holistic system that incorporates FPS, ships, anything, everything at the same time, so. And scanning's for no, I don't, scanning's gonna come in later this year with hacking. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Uh, this game is moving like way too fast right now. <laughs> <laughs> way too fast. You, you, way you, too say, fast. you say that like you it's just, a bad thing. <laughs> I have other things I need to do in life than just follow Star Citizen. <laughs> Not everything is about you, okay? <laughs> what I, about my needs? <laughs> uh, maybe they should go slower so they can have they can hire more devs. See, helping the the dev uh, shortage or not shortage. The my, dev, my name is Fast Cart, not Slow Cart. So go as fast as you can. <laughs> uh, I really do like this system because mostly I can just change what stupid default is and why the default it will never ever ever be inspect ever again. Why was that always the default? Because like, they want you to see the shiny. They want to see. They want you to to know the shiny. You know. <laughs> it's CIG. That's probably exactly why. Yeah, that's exactly why. That's the reason it's why like, they want to Ah, yes, here's the... a gun. F. Oh, I'm now inspecting it. That's totally. I didn't want, want to put this on my belt or anything. I wanted to inspect it. It's yeah, the same reason it. why master modes is being implemented. Is because they wanted to slow down and shorten the engagement regions. Regions because they want to see the animations of your gun firing and you want to see the ship blow like apart into pieces. I, 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 I want to oh. see how they're gonna fix racing, but I like master yeah. modes. Oh, it's it Black History Month. You had to bring up Master Mode, really? <laughs> every time. Oh, every time. So... Okay, fast card. <laughs> you should, you should, you should, uh, you should propose them calling it something different. Like, oh, I, I have. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not touching anything around that. Um, yeah. <laughs> I I think it's gonna make it in just because it, it's a simp it's simple compared to the other UI stuff they're doing. Um, yeah. The I think the best part about it is the new precision, um, not AI, but the their algorithm for figuring out what you're actually pointing at. Mm -hmm. um, I really hope it counts for buttons in the cockpit um, because yeah. it's terrible trying to hit buttons in the cockpit. Just, I, I think Do you want this button? No, I want the one next to it. So you have to I like hold it and like zoom in and then scroll from different angles to get the button you want. 
Yeah, I, I think that's that's part of their their new can their uh, bespoke not bespoke uh, dynamic an animation system they're trying to develop for cockpit interaction, so they don't have to like animate every single ship in terms of like well, the somebody is drag racing. Um, um, let's see any bads. But um, the only bads is the art doesn't line up with the current inner thought system. I assume mm-hmm. they're going to change the inner thought system eventually. There's going to be a a polish pass on all the current UI that's not getting removed in 323. Um, but it's 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 lighter blue. It it runs together well with the HUD and visor, but the uh the inner thought wheel is is completely different style. It's a mm-hmm. dark um like prismarine, yeah, dark prismarine um color instead of a, a light uh cyan teal color. Yeah, yeah. I, I imagine they changed it in in Squadron, so I imagine it'll be porting over. Yeah. Um, as for me, for your action modes, um, I I personally enjoy effing everywhere. That's a that's a fantastic uh, addition to the game. Um, now that Paul, I'm about to now <laughs> this time. Um, it's 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 a great update. It's uh, I think someone someone in chat said something like like this this update alone is going to like. Uh, future proof star citizen for like 20 years and i, I actually do agree something to, to that degree you can't hear me okay and then i hit something wrong hold on can you hear me now oh no i hit i hit a mute button that's what i did hold on i think i, I think he i don't know how he, it he, muted me like that um, there you go it, 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 you now <laughs> Okay, can make that's so weird. many f jokes. Uh, I made again an f joke, and everyone and, and, and suddenly Discord's <laughs> like, no. Um, but the 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 uh, someone someone in chat said this is going to future proof Star Citizen for like twenty years, and uh, and I kind of like did this alone, and I think that that kind of does it will do a lot of that because this interaction system is very much uh, tailor made for Star Citizen, and it kind of it uses a lot of the elements you would expect from a modern game to update the interactions because the current interaction system was horrible and the inner thought system is bad and everyone thought the interaction system was bad. And when I heard that the whole inspiration came from Sherlock of all things, the, 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 like, oh, yeah. the BBC TV show, it was like, it was oh, that one? Okay. Not, not the Sherlock games where you actually like, Nope. Has the no, not, bits? Not, not the Robert Downey Jr. Movie. No. Which are uh, great movies in their own right. And they're yeah. trying to make a third one. Um, yeah, they should. I love, I love those movies, but, um, the, the, I was like, Oh, this is bad. This is going to be very bad. Uh, and yeah, I think, I think as they started developing things like squadron and stuff like that, they realized this is, this is a horrible system that needs to be changed, but it's a little bit more, it's a little better for like dialogue. It does not work for anything else. And I hate it for everything else. I would love, um, as long as you can mouse wheel, if they just gave you the option to get near an object and use the mouse wheel, a lot of the uh, problems would be fixed. Yeah. Uh, it, like having to actually put your mouse on the option you want is where I get a lot of friction with the current system. If I could just get near it to where it shows me the list and be able to mouse wheel, like they said in the original when they were talking about it originally, mm-hmm. it'd be a lot better. Um, I am looking forward to all the shenanigans people getting to when, uh, when the change over actually happened because I could see a lot of people make a mistake. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Or like, a, mm-hmm. or, you know, because, yeah. it, it, you know, the, the problem people have today is that when sometimes when you mean, when you mean to drag someone to, to, to help them out, you, you can just move the mouse a little bit and actually accidentally take, take the helmet and kill them. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I hopefully there'll be less of that, but I can see there'll be more of that in, 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 during the transition. Yeah, yeah because a lot of people got used things. to the old move moving. Um, let's move on to uh, EVA two point uh, version two, uh, tier two, T two, T two, which is specifically improved EVA controls and animations for smoother traversal traversal in zero G. Later iterations will introduce limited EVA fuel and encourage use of zero G push pool and the multi tools tractor beam. R- so, really emphasize that later. I emphasize that later because originally it had all of them together and people got confused. And on top of that, ISC, while it does a pretty good job of explaining that these things are fe- are later, 
um, and they have those little things on the screen. People are terrible at reading in Star Citizen and don't don't like to read in Star Citizen, so they may have ignored that entirely. And it, I don't doubt, I don't den- I deny that people, because I actually saw people who thought all of those features were coming in even after watching ISC, and, and I had to explain like, no, 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 watch it again and look at the bottom right. But they don't point it out. And I don't think there's a way you can fix that other than just not talking about it or making it a big deal. And you don't want to make a big deal about things you're not doing yeah, they right already now. Had, EVA you know, was so. already part of the ISC, so yeah, th- there's not much more they can do except for answer people on Spectrum. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's uh, let's go with you uh, there, Nazareth. Uh, your thoughts, goods, bads, and do you think it's going to make it in? Uh, if it doesn't make it in, we riot. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is one of those quality of life patches that affects everyone, even if they're not thinking about it, because everyone has walked out of a spaceship or into a spaceship, hit their head. And or flopped around like a dead fish. I love that. Or a dying fish. <laughs> it's just it. Mm, eh, mm, mm, it's, uh, like, Use it, your words, Nat. Use your words. <laughs> there is so much time. Like this is the one thing. Like the the flopping around in EVA is the one thing that, and I don't know why it gets me so upset. It can ruin an entire play session for me. Um, uh, there was, we, 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 and the org were trying to get the crusader, uh, branded undersuits from Korea, uh, uh, security. And so we were actually cheesing the entire Korea mission entirely, but we had this, this guy coming around being a bounty hunter and like he was doing his job fine. But the only reason I got got by him is cause I face planted into the side of the station and just couldn't recover. I just mm-hmm. couldn't recover. I was just sitting there spinning. If I had this system, I could have gotten behind the pole that I was aiming for. And I would have been fine. Yeah. It, it it will change a lot of stuff. Not only is it like good for controls, and it will be just an amazing f- uh, fix to the EVA system, but it's also way higher fidelity than the EVA system we have Drink. now. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly, it looks better. It works better. Uh, even we, even though we don't have the two other features being the push pull and um, fuel, but we can still use the tractor beam. Like that's still gonna be a thing, and I think this will just work so much better than what we have now. And it will, it will work not only better, but in many game uh, game designers' uh, chest of necessities, it will work as people expect it to. Yeah. Um, and just just to keep like, very uh, very clearly for people who are watching, I know that we've been streaming for two hours and we're not even done with this. This was always going to be a long one because this is a huge list. So what is that? You want to talk more about cargo? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll get to that because the I think the I don't think the um, on the release view I don't think the uh, cargo elevator is even on the uh, the gameplay list. No, that's played elevator, that. but not cargo. Oh, yeah, they're, they're there. They're there. The, Oh, that's at the very oh, last one. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, but yeah. So, uh, fast cart EVA 2.0, uh, goods, bads, and do you think it's going to make it in? Uh, yeah, I, I think CIG had missed an opportunity when they named it. It's called EVA T2. They should have called it Judgment Day, the electric boogaloo, <laughs> but that's just my opinion. Um, it looks very cool. I, I'm looking forward to it. The Iron Man pose, Superman flying, it, 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 mwah. They look very cool. A lot of people who were like who who played Anthem are uh, probably be looking forward to this because you know to get them uh, an Iron Man feel again. Um, that those are the good things. As far as the bad things, um, I'm looking forward to all the new glitches that this will produce. All the new clips and videos of uh, uh, people freaking out and and uh, characters freaking out in different ways. Because, you know, it's not going to be perfect, but it, 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 it'll be something something new. So I'm looking forward to seeing all the... I, I miss Witch Quest. Witch Quest. That, that, stuff like that. So mm-hmm. looking forward to that. Um, my confidence level? Oh, I don't know. I, I mean, we, it looked pretty good in the ISC, but I don't know how... how Hopefully it's in Squadron Forty Two. It's easy to put in Squad uh, Star Citizen. Maybe eighty-five percent confidence level. Okay. I don't know. Um. Yeah. I. I, I think almost certainly this is coming in because CIG like like showing off. It's important to note that um it was either 
January or possibly even December when that um, when that ISC was was written, and this isn't coming out until April. So like, hmm. I have a pretty high confidence level with EVA T two with basically what we saw, which is just the new transitions in the animations is what is all it is. See, um, what they need to do is give us. Uh, I, I know this is going to add five more years to development. I'm sorry. Uh, give us exit and enter or exit and exit enter and fall uh choices that we can make to like customize our character so that when we like transition into gravity mm. there there's like maybe even just make it uh certain Super animations random. will play yeah <laughs> make, make it like there's a chance that this animation will play when you hit the ground so you can do like the anthem landings or like you can just if you have oh. like jetpacks or something and just, you just kind of float in like the the Tony Stark kind of landing I, I, I would I would pay money. A lot of people are, 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 are going to hate this idea, but I would pay money to have like an Iron Man landing. Like an, an many, Iron Man Many landing. people and would. I, it, would. Yeah, I, I, I would. I actually think that's something we mentioned because we talked specifically about EVA last time, last last episode. Um, and I like the idea that someone floated with the idea that it would be connected to the skill system. So depending oh, on yeah. how you land would depend on how, how skill, how many times you've done that in the past. So... Because uh, that would make sense to change your animations. Because the more you EVA, how would you control that though? We, we, it would just be a the t- more you like, do it, the the better the stability. Better no, but how would control how, how how you land? Um, you would you would either uh, you'd it would just give you a different animation style, and there might be a, a, a like a, an option you could set up angle later. of attack and speed. Yeah, yeah. Okay, talk about that. So, and it would be more, more efficient. So like when you landed, you know, you could do it quieter or faster or like, like instead of when you, if you hit the ledge, instead of being bouncing off, you might grapple it and pull yourself up, you know. Uh, I, I do the, think the they ledge. should put in a, uh, a temporary airlock, ex- not explosion, but whatever it's called. Basically, so you can sit in like, like the reclaimer airlock is a really good example because it's nice and short or the Carrick one where mm. you can stand at the back of the airlock hit the button and shoot out of it. <laughs> like, uh, like, uh, into darkness or not into darkness. The first Star Trek film, the first mm-hmm. new Star Trek film. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Star Trek 2009. Yeah. Yeah. Like, um, it's, it's a really good move. Like it's a tactically good move. Yeah. But that's not how airlocks work. I, I yeah. know. That's sci-fi. <laughs> exactly. yeah. that, that is a classic you, sci-fi, like <laughs> explosive decompression. Yes. Yeah. That's a classic sci-fi move. Like yep. in any good sci-fi movie, there's the oh my gosh, the wall just got hit out, and there goes all the furniture. Like if they not just don't any good do sci-fi that, movie, plenty of bad one too, Nas. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure, but this is Chris Flippin' Roberts. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't think they'd do explosive decompression. I would be okay with a man cannon because man cannons are fun. Those are you can fun. just like but shoot like, people out of compression them. Was in, oh like, my! The, mm-hmm. Explosive compression was in the Citizen Con 2017 opening cinematic. I think it was, yeah, but that was because they 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 were being attacked, so the ship wasn't just being explosively right. compressed; it was also being like, like jolt, jostled around, and zero g turned off, or the gravity turned off. So yeah, you can you can do all those things on your ship to launch. And it was yourself. in a gravity well, so it was like. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, the 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 correct term is blown out, as Data would say. <laughs> Uh, all right, so I think I think we kind of covered that. Uh, we've still got we only have four more of the gameplay left, and then we still have three more. We could add more. That. Uh, yeah, we could talk about all the stuff on SEL. Like I have a giant list here of all the stuff that's not technically in here. Plus, we have questions. So, um, all right. So uh, the next one is hostility, and I'm going to take this one first because I personally really want to talk about this. And well, because it's 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 a, it's a <laughs> reputation thing. Um, it says specifically adding a new feature to the reputation system where players will encounter AI that are either friendly or hostile based on their reputation with that organization that the AI belongs to. This includes different friendly fire thresholds and defense responses, which is the like first step towards making Pyro a very unique and interesting place. Because if you make some gangs mad by working for the wrong gang you're just going to be shot at instead of a given landing permissions. Um, and it is the most important part step in making the reputation system fleshed out a little bit more for where your actions have consequences, which is the basis of what the star citizen is supposed to be. And we'll start creating that secondary economy with reputation, which will allow for things like, um, 
working to unlock certain like items and stuff like that. So to me, it's really, really good that they finally added this in because they started talking about it, I think, two years ago about working on this. Um, and it's, fi- it's finally coming in. It's great. Um, uh, as to will it possibly make it in, we have seen nothing about it. Zero. There's not been really much uh-huh. res- even in the month. But what would they it. show to demonstrate this? They would just talk about it. I mean, because they, they, you, 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 it would be like a short ISC segment, maybe like a uh, some like an AI showing an AI, like show an AI who's positive to you and see the, how they change in their animations versus like, you know, like versus hostile. Because I'm sure there's different like idle states that they have because I'm sure they have that in Squadron 42, too, where like they have different idle states based off of hostile, friendly and those sorts of things. Um, <coughs> um, uh, yeah, so like it's it's a good uh uh, it's a good, I think it's a, it's a great addition. I don't, my confidence level is very low for this one though. This is one of the first one that uh. I'm just like, we don't have any information on it. It hasn't been talked a lot about. So I don't feel confident saying this is making it in 3.23. This could be something that moves, it gets shifted. But and in two weeks, there could be a, an ISC just specifically on, on, on his topic. Yeah, I mean, it we could don't be one hundred percent, and and I could be wrong. And I really wish there's an ISC on this on this because it would be really cool and boost my confidence levels a bit more. But yeah, I think you know. uh, yeah, it was uh, the community manager. I think it's the Ger- German community manager, Nikhil. Mm. I don't know which which community man, which region he. Uh, Nikhil is a dev. I want to say. I mean, not a they're all dev, but I'm saying <laughs> Nikhil is they are the. I, I, well, yeah, he put that stuff in, in the game. I'm gonna say, oh, okay. I'm not sure. Um, so he made a very long post, um, replying to somebody, uh, talking about uh, griefers in the game, and mm-hmm. the long and short of it was this. Yeah, <laughs> reputation. This is the game. This is the beginning of the game policing itself. This is the beginning of. When you kill players or pirate stuff or just shoot guns around outposts, you're going to piss off the locals. Mm. The locals will then call the cops. The cops will then call the UEE, and eventually you'll be kicked out of uh, settled space. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> this is the start of that entire sequence. And even though the stations couldn't hit the broadside of a approaching station, because... Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> that one today and they were busy shooting their own landing pads not the pirate running around um but this is the the start of being able to be safe in uh what are they called claim systems Mm -hmm. and in lawful areas like yes you'll probably have a little harder time finding good guy cops in in uh magnus sure in pyro it's Everyone else is trying to kill you except for the people that you really suck up to. And even them, even them, it's kind of like if you screw up that, they're going to try and kill you, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like I, I doubt that if you piss off the Hurstons, they're going to start shooting you. But I think if you get to a certain point, you may not get permission to land in Lorville if you're like working. I, for I think enemies, I think like it'll that. be actually way easier to piss off the Hurstons. It's like, yeah, just, just shoot them at the gate. Yeah. Uh, don't live in the city. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like, Take it, uh, bury, bury their body in the desert, and then one will know. You know. Uh, yeah, I think it'll, uh, it'll, I think it's blackjack will be the the hardest to, uh, or the easiest to piss off because they're just mercs. Yeah. Then Hurston security, then Crusader, and, and yeah, but I mean, like, we're gonna security, have, we're, we're like, gonna see a different, all... we're gonna see a different variety. Like mm. in 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 Pyro, you start working for the uh, the rough and ready, you're probably not gonna get jobs from you know the fire rats. Um, and, and, uh, like not just jobs, but you show up in fire right territory, they're going to take shots at you. But yep. if you start working for microtech and, and, or whoever like Hurston doesn't like, they're not going to shoot you unless you're, you're a criminal, but they don't have to let you land. Um, yeah. uh, y- you know, that, that sort of thing. So, you know, and this, I, I don't know if this is going to start bleed, um, reputation. I hope so. But they mm-hmm. have, again, we have, we have very little to go on. Um, but for those who don't understand what bleed reputation is, it's basically if you're doing, let's say, mercenary missions for Crusader security, well, other security firms are going to say, okay, so this guy plays in the right set of laws, doing anything by the book, so we like him. Maybe not as much as Crusader security, but he he's doing it correctly. Whereas if you go pirate someone, let's say specifically pirating someone with a Crusader badge on them, then Crusader will hate you a lot more, but all these other lawful firms in the verse will say, well, this guy actively does 
violent things in the in the in the territory so we all don't like him mm-hmm. and that will transfer over to even profession stuff if we if you do cargo and you're bad at cargo running you might have lead um, negative reputation on all the cargo firms yeah uh so I'll, I'll start with you naz on this one um with the dynamic event good bad i don't know event of why i'm looking at that uh the reputation hostility oh okay uh, like dynamic event uh good good bad and do you think it's gonna make it in uh good it, it's it's the start of again something that will be iterated on heavily in the next year two years five years um bad i'm not gonna say it's too late um bad i i think i was trying to say i was got i thought of like well players aren't really gonna like how this changes the game but like that's not bad it's good mm-hmm. that's that's the ci that's what star citizen is if they don't like it welcome to what they've been trying to do i'm sorry mm-hmm. if you don't like it you don't like star citizen i'm sorry um Will it come in? Actually, I think this is actually a pretty easy one to come in because we already have reputation. This is just hooking in the AI uh, cues to the reputation that we already have. Mm-hmm. Fast card? Uh, I, 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 this is one I can say this is both a good and bad at the same time. So I'm looking forward to seeing the overzealous mall cop in, in game. Like, you know, <laughs> depending on... Uh, if it's you, it's not so fun. But if you're watching someone else, it'd be hilarious, right? So I'm looking forward to, to, to being able to see that. Uh, like I said, for I, I'm going to go with Paul on the um, confidence level. Maybe. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we'll have to see. But I am looking forward to the, to, to the, to the ISD when we get it. Uh, all right. The next one, and I'll start with you on this one, Fast Cart, because I want to well, I want to see Nas sweat is the star map rework. Um, Ooh. And uh, so the star map rework is specifically implementing the new and improved star map with new and with improved visuals and usability, including easier search and trip planning functionality. So I don't think uh, that's anything bad about this one. This is all good. I mean, we've been uh, how long we, we we've been looking forward to this one? Five, six years, seven well, years, did twelve you years. Come out? <laughs> how long has the PU been out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, I don't think there's anything bad about this one. Yeah, give it, give it to us. Give the map. <laughs> we, we, we should probably say uh, confidence level. I'm gonna say a hundred. Okay. 100% That's think it's coming I want in. it. That's way <laughs> higher than what I have for it. <laughs> All right, uh, Ness, your thoughts? Goods, bads, um, and is coming in. Good and bads. Good. It's it's everything we want in in a, a Google Maps version. Like it. I I don't know if it if the technical FPS map does like in like transit routing that we would have like in a city. I would imagine that's the FPS map that would do that. But this is your trip planning. This should also, I don't know if it'll have the feature on launch, but it will eventually have the feature of if your ship can't make it to a destination, it will route you around to a gas station so that you can hop and skip there. Which now, is all I'm really going, nice. All I'm going to say is, now you should, you should give Bing, Bing Maps a try. You may like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I will you give Atlas confidence. first. Do you have high confidence coming in or low confidence? Uh, not really because it's such a big feature and because like it could, it and the FPS map could slip mostly because they're, they're really good at, well, they've waited this long. I don't think they'll need to, you know, I don't think they'll uh, worry over it slipping one patch or a 0.5 patch because of like, we want to bring it in we want it to work. So if it doesn't work, solidly i don't really think they're gonna bring it in okay uh, i it's definitely higher than um where i said the the personal hangers mm-hmm. but it, it's like, like that lower kind of third of possibility of it coming in just because it's a big thing and, and if it doesn't work then there's no point in putting it in like it'll visually be nice and you can probably get the basic functionality but if it if it doesn't do basic functionality, it's not coming in anyway. Yeah, that that that'd be a, a, a very bad bad. It, 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 it'll come in, but it'll be it'll be buggy. So yeah, yeah. that's the potential. Almost certainly it'll have bugs. Yeah, it's, I think it's, it's funny that like 
we're, we're, <laughs> we're server meshing and things. They're like, hey, we're going to do this piecemeal. We're going to go really slow with all these updates. By the way, we're changing like half the game in one patch. Yeah. How? that? I get uh, like they're different teams and things, but like I like the idea of com- coming in slow to make sure I mean, that you test a, things and thoroughly. I think this is a direct result of Squadron 42 being um, feature complete. Yeah. Oh, for I'm sure. Just... But, but yeah, so you expect the, like I'm, a you, gradual roll in, not a not a hey, you know everything you have, uh, every way you interact with the game right now, we're gonna we're gonna completely like th- th- flip the table over and just put a brand new set on top of it. I mean, like, like, I, to, I to would, me, it, it may it may come across that you, you two are complaining about there being so, so much being put in. It is actually a good thing, though, right? <laughs> it uh, is. It, it, it's a double edged sword, is what it is. I, because, I would love if they say like, hey. We're going to release these seventeen things over three patches, like not 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 major patches, That's but, too but That's zero too one and two, zero one and two. Oh, and, oh, oh yeah, over yeah, the yeah. six month period, and we're going to say, hey, here's the testing for the first. Let's just say five, um, and they're and they're going to put then EPT oh. or Evacati. They're going to get over to PTU, and they're going to get the base functionalities in. They're going to set up the next fair. suite. Huh? To, to be fair, now that may be the way it actually happened. Yeah. You never know. We don't know. Yeah. I, I suppose, like, these are all for the entire X branch of 3.3. So I, I, I think it'd be a nice way of doing it, just so as many basic bugs get out. Yeah, because that's the thing that, that I think we should also emphasize, is that all of these things, good or bad, or, or like, like if they come in or not, doesn't matter because all of them will be buggy. All of them will have <laughs> issues. But at the same time, these are also probably the most tested internal features that CIG's ever made because they're not tested true, yeah. for Star Citizen. They were tested for um, for Squadron. So like their internal dev teams have tested the hell out of all of these parts. The The problem is, is that a lot of as a lot of PVPers have pointed out, a lot of players have pointed out that CIG's internal testing has a terrible track record because how many things has CIG done? that has com- remained untouched without player feedback and players being like, this is bad, fix this, this is a problem. CIG does, like all devs, has blind spots for dramatic things that a lot of people go, why didn't you think about this? And it's just either they did and it just got pushed out because someone there, managed There's a reason a why Valve hasn't whatever. had a flop in forever. Uh-huh. And they have this internal culture of playtesting. Not QA testing, playtesting. Yeah. Every single week, clockwork when they're building a game there will be play testing and that what you do in a play test is you set somebody who has not touched your game in front of the computer and and just say go and a room of devs sit there silently taking notes and never has CIG once said they play test because we're the play testers mm-hmm. terrible way of doing things like it's cheap and efficient but it gets terrible results. And not only do you have... Go ahead. To, to your point, uh, this may be... Like, people are asking whether or not uh, CID will have Squadron 42 as a, as a beta test or alpha test for Squadron 42. Couldn't these features in Star Citizen and then having us test, to test these features is probably the, 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 the best this... thing that CID could do for, for beta testing on Squadron 42. Yeah, it almost certainly is going to be the beta test of Squadron 42 is these features. That's what we're, we're, we're experiencing right now because CIG doesn't want to release Squadron 42 because it's story, story spoilers. But yeah, you know. but it, it would benefit them greatly. And I, as a backer, would definitely like them to spend their money on play testing, mm-hmm. not QA, in addition to QA testing. Let's not say not QA testing, but it is because people are people. The data they get from watching streams and taking notes by comments on Spectrum, the data is so muddy. Unless mm. you're there sitting at them when they sit down with the, the project, then you really can't draw efficient and solid conclusions. Yeah, because you also and, don't... Uh, uh, Real quick, I just want to say, Moya said that that they said no beta test for Squadron 42. Yes, but they also said that the FA Lightning will not be on sale until Squadron 42 is out. So, yep. yeah. They also said no interest. <laughs> yeah. So, so there's there's a lot of things. CIG, CIG says a lot of things that they go back on. Um, because things change or CIG just changes their mind. 
Yeah, um, that, I mean, it, that, it's not uh, always a bad thing. It's, I mean, no. it's, like, I, I, I'm glad I got the F8 Lightning now. So, yeah, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, CID, the CID, it's, it's a headset stuff. The food system is another example. A lot of people complained that because originally CIG said the food system wouldn't kill you. It would just give you debuffs and now it kills you. And I'm like, it's fine. I don't see the <laughs> difference, even though so many people were complaining about it being like, oh, no, I'm in the middle of battle. Let me stuff a burrito into my mouth. It's like I knew, I knew they were never going to. I can't wait like for the but... food system to get expanded. I'm so excited for yeah. cooking and but... crafting like that. Go ahead, uh, I don't know if it was you, Paul or Jared. I guess you guys are the same people now. <laughs> um <laughs> I'll tell that to Jared right now. Thank you. Okay. Right. Disco, Disco with that, the same folks. person Clip now. that. Yeah. Uh, but one of you were saying, um, and there goes the thought, what were we just on? No beta test for Squadron. Um, yeah. That yeah. Any, anything that CIG has ever said was true at the moment it was said. Yes. The right. second after it was said, you should disregard it out of hand <laughs> because funny. it may not be true anymore. I don't know if you guys said that, but I said something, something but basically around that before, you know. Yeah. I think I yeah, think that, it was, that, that's I how think like Puppy Paul would say it, not Jared. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think Jared did say that at that the thing CIG says has a uh, a half life to it. Yeah. Something around that, and that like what they said back then doesn't necessarily apply because we've we've evolved the entire project, so it might it might just be old data. Uh. Yeah. So uh, with that, let's move on to because that was the the big one for for the star map. Oh, I haven't talked about star map. Uh, good, because <laughs> I, I, I so you all kind of summarized it. Good is it's it's replacing the old star map, which can bite can die in a fire, um, and it looks That's better. way too kind. Um, and it, it's uh, the bad is it's probably going to come with bugs, um, which is the only kind of bad side to it is that it's it you're going to see. People. Bugs in a star map? I'd never. I, you're gonna see people. I can, I can already see the future because you know I'm psychic or something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and I can already see the future. People will will scream about how the star map sucks. How insert game has a better map than than, than Star Citizen. There's uh, gonna be people who want their old star map back. Yeah, no. for some reason. I mean, uh, the, I can the, understand the, that because I want the old hollow table back, and people hate that thing with a passion. Yeah, but but the the point <laughs> being is. Is that like I know that there's going to be people because the rule I've discovered in Star Citizen is if you say anything good about Star Citizen, someone will crawl into the comments and talk about how Chris Roberts personally punched them in the face and stole their wallet. So, uh, well, that's nice of him. Yeah, uh, was, <laughs> like, like there's, 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 there's never a good thing about Star Citizen to be said unless, unless someone else. Because every time you had a good experience. Um, so in, in the game, somebody else uh, had the experience of uh, of the game nuking their computer and then making the computer g gain sentience and then um, uh, killing their whole family. Like, th th no matter what you say, it's going to happen. It so, only happened one time. That doesn't make it make it a rule or anything. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> it's it, it's every single time. There's somebody in the comments who's going to just as as a rule, as as at a principle, talk about how. X thing killed their killed their uh, killed their character in the game. It's gonna happen. Um, if your computer has gained sentience and killed your entire family, you may be in a robot apocalypse movie. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> like, the, and and for me, that's the bad it is 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 dealing with the community's response to to this because it's not going to be the perfect feature they all hoped for. So, you know. Um, all right, now let's move on to. I'm going to combine these next two because I think they're really one. Uh, which is the item bank and unique recovery and the freight elevators. So but they're not both. one. They are two different locations. They are, but they're the same. Without the without the freight elevators, you won't have item bank and unique um, item. They recovery. do. They're the same thing. They're just different. It's just one feature of the of the freight elevators is the item bank and unique recovery. Otherwise, it's the same features. You can't access the item bank without going to. Oh, I'll read it. But the item but bank I says. Don't, I, Adding an item bank kiosks to the Persistent Universe, allowing players to retrieve and store FPS items at multiple locations. It's just a freight elevator that's but not it's, a freight elevator. it's an omnipresent freight elevator. No, it's not. It's only at From multiple places. locations. Yeah, but it's, it's not. It's not just, a location. But it's not going to be just a freight elevator. It's just a freight elevator at other locations. That's all it is for smaller items. Um, what? Okay, I don't know if we're, I think we're reading this com like completely backward because what? I read here with multiple locations. If you die somewhere in the Damar Moon, you can either go to Orison or Microtech and get the same item. No, because this is bank uh, item bank kiosks, so you still have uh -huh. to go to a kiosk to get it. Yeah. So, so whether that kiosk is in New Babbage or Orison, 
it will still be the same bank. Yeah, but it works the same way as a freight elevator. It's just the difference is the freight elevator is tied to a location. That's right. it. That's what I mean. Yeah, but it's the same. It's the same technology. It's the same things. Like if we don't get freight elevators, we're not getting the item bank, and because it's the same tech, but you, it's it's just the overall technology and like the the tool that they developed for it that they just. Uh, I used to call these. I still call these like the Sauron um, um, systems that CIG develops. You know, one one tool to rule them all, and in, in, in the diverse oh, bind them. Okay. Um, <laughs> Because it's it's like it's like the, the, the room system. One. The room system was used to create the 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 caves and the uh, to dynamically generate the um, the space stations. Those sorts of things. Like they, they they use a system and they try to reuse it as many times as possible. And it's pretty clear that the freight elevators and the and the uh, item banks are the same technology, but were used for two different things. So. Um, but yeah, so this is uh, allowing players to store FPS items in multiple locations. In addition, this will also allow players to retrieve lost account-bound items, such as subscriber flare. And then the uh, freight elevator is implementations of systems and content for players to physically load and unload cargo to and from their ships by conveying cargo to and from hangars, landing pads, garages, and docking collars. Um, and I think I mean, they don't they don't need to use the word conveying because there's no conveyor belts. I've played Satisfactory and Factorio. There are no conveyor belts in this game. <laughs> <laughs> uh let's start with you naz on this one um the, both of these things goods bads and uh are they gonna be uh, or not? and i'll be right back so i i am actually really shocked that item bank the unique item recovery actually got in so fast um so fast was not, forever i mean sure like I, I i agree and and it's i just wasn't expecting it for like another five years just because like it seems like a background thing like you'll get it next patch update update wipe whatever it is um it just didn't sound like a priority when they were talking about it. Like, oh, hey, you guys are going to love this, but it's, like, not really a priority for us. Is what it sounded like on ISC. Um, but it means I can wear literally half of my inventory now, so I'm not afraid to lose it on the moon surface. Um, so I now will always be wearing my Argo backpack when I can. Uh, it, it, it really helps the players who have bought the stuff and spent the money the peace of mind that they won't be losing their account items. And I think that means they'll be able to use it more. Does it give cheatsy doodles for everyone who buys stuff? Yes, but they spent real world money on it. They went to work and went to a stupid job that they hate with a passion, and they they would love to quit and you know burn the building down every day to buy that pistol or shiny armor or what have you. And yes, they get to get it back after whatever period or price okay. they put in the game. It's probably gonna be a whatever cool time, you know. Yeah, something. whatever it is, they'll get that item back. That seems justified. You spent you spent time playing a game, a piece of entertainment to buy the same thing in game. What do you have to do to get back? You have to, oh no, play the game to get it back. <laughs> I think it's justified. Um, as far as the cargo elevators go, like we've said with many, many of the things previous, it is tied to a lot of stuff, but also I got a taste of this because we... And my org, I know Forge Industries, we were doing a reclaimer, reclaimer hole munching into, they were putting that down through the elevator, then kicking it back to my whole seat. And that was like the first kind of like taste of freight elevator kind of gameplay. Because they, they were also recognizing on the salvage team that they're going to have to do this for every single load after this patch because no longer will it be just park in station and s mystically sell out of the internals of the cargo. They're going to have to load that cargo down the elevator every single time they want to sell from the, the um, reclaimer and into the cargo elevator. And hopefully, I don't know when exactly whole C cargo elevators are going to be in. I know it's not 323. Um, but then I will have to use the tractor beams on top of the whole C to put it inside the freight elevator that way. And it's just like, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy this kind of logistics in game. And I, I will blissfully enjoy cargo elevators and everything they enable and make friction for. Fast car, same question. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to concentrate on the item break and unique recovery, item recovery, because you know, that, that I'm looking forward to that. A whole bunch of us are looking forward to it. On good, I'll never have to worry about losing my top hat and eyeglass again. I've had that for ages. 
and, uh, and a whole bunch of other stuff. The bad, there's gonna be more clutter in my inventory because I will have all <laughs> the uh, all the stuff that you know. I I I, I I I I mean, I have like when I look at my hanger on 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 on, on, on the um on the website, I have I, I set it to 100 items per page at three pages. I don't, know, I don't know about the rest of y'all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Paul's gonna look. Uh, I, I, would, I would be surprised if Paul had, if Paul had five pages, but I had three yeah. pages. So that's a lot of crap, a lot this of subscriber is... flair, a lot of uh, items in, in, in my hair. So that's gonna be a lot of clutter. That's the bad. But I mean, it's a, it's good. It's a good bad. So yeah, uh, my confidence level. <laughs> I'm gonna say fifty percent because I've been looking forward to this uh, so long. I'm 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 gonna be I'm gonna take the uh, avenue of being hopeful, but you know, hope for the best, but affect the worst. <laughs> that's what, that's the way I'm going with this one. Oh, pages up now. Um, also, per persistent or personal uh, hangers means you get to display all of that stuff that's in your inventory and get them out of your inventory into the world. There's a lot of yeah, exactly. hanger flare. Yeah. Um, I have three pages. <laughs> three pages. I I would recommend highly. To UCCU game for for hangar viewing <laughs> because it 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 put, puts out into a grid with all the icons. Yeah, I, I do, list. but you know, okay. Okay. I, I, some people don't. So that that's just the way of you know having the commonality among everyone. Like it everyone, is, everyone uses the RSI hangar hangar page. Like I, uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm currently going back and I I used to. So I was uh, I was worried that I wouldn't play much Star Citizen when we got to 1.0. Because I had all the ships I wanted in on my hanger, on my account, and I finally found a a thing that a lot of people are gonna hate this this solution. But I found a solution: melt all the ships and fill my inventory with paints and things. <laughs> 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 so I'm going back and I'm, I'm getting rid of uh, some of the paints that I bought and just buying the gi giant packs because I didn't. Because I'm like, oh, let me save money and get just the ones I want as long as it <laughs> is below the pack price. Um, and so basically, if I ever want to fly a ship, I will basically have all the paints for it. And, and, gonna, hit, hit, and hit, in the game, hit, I'm planning hit, to get... Go ahead. Real quick, here's a related question while Paul looking, looking at his hangar. So how many people... Have either of you bought anything for this um, uh, Lunar New Year and the um, and the, and the Cormor this year? Uh, all of them. You want all I of them? Oh, I, have, I have all the paints now. <laughs> There was like three packs of paints for the new year, and I had half of the Love Struck kit, so I melted all those and got the pack of all the Love Struck kit. Um, so I have it set to not a hundred pages. It was a, it's like a five or six, uh, and I, I don't know how to like. All right, so one, two, three, four, five or six. Ten. Ten. It's ten per page. Uh, to, for, for okay. Gear. Huh. And so I have. Per... Ten per gear per, per page, and I have twenty three. Wow! Wait, I, we, you, you cut off tw tw twenty what? Twenty three. Twenty three pages. Wow! Yes. Okay. Uh, my stuff. oldest is from October twelfth, twenty thirty. Oh, two thirty. Yeah, two hundred thirty. What's your so oldest? About, uh, from October twelfth, twenty thirteen. Mine is October November tw twenty fourteen. I, I, yes, I know the top of my off top of my head. I don't have to look. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I actually got it in October or in August of 2013 is when I actually picked it up. But my original pet package has been gone for a while now, so because I, I changed it over to something else. So mine's not showing everything. Oh, that's because there's more. Oh, yeah. There's no. You just, over. I, you just click to the very end. So yeah, two and I had 230 items and oh. uh, yeah. My earliest is December 2014. Um, and it is a total of 28 pages on 10 per page. Yeah. There you go. So 280. Yeah, you have more than me. Uh, all right. So um, I, my own thoughts on, on both of these is I'm glad that the item kiosks exist because the item kiosks is a, is a compromise. It's obviously a CIG compromise from making players pull up their freight elevators every single time they wanted to pull something out, you know um of uh out of because you because i think you could with these ideas the same idea as, as freight elevators you can store it in um uh you could store it in the uh the local area so if you want to like pull something up from it you can just pull it up instead of having to go all the way back to your elevator or your hangar you can like wake up go down talk to your kiosk drop it in the kiosk pull things out that kind of thing so um but yeah 
24 <laughs> pages at, at, at 10 per page. Yeah. Wow. Oof. Oof. Very nice. All right. So that was the last of the gameplay features. Now we still have three more features to go. So then we've got questions. So this is this is going to be this is might be the longest one. We've already been streaming for like a little over two and a half hours. So um, make sure to help us get our goal of making this the longest captain's <laughs> table ever. Go ask more questions using the coin. I don't know. Oh, it's that way. Yeah. Um, I have questions, but I'll wait till the next segment. <laughs> okay. I Master can't. modes is the next one. So I'll start with you. Oh, fast cart. Um, <laughs> because it is, it is black history month. I'll start you off with that. Uh, oh, no. um, I'm, I'm leaning into it just cause I'm, I, cause I know someone's going to make a comment about it in, in the chat and in the comments. And it's just like, it. I'm sorry. You don't like jokes. Um, <laughs> and but fast cart brought it up first. So I'm, I'm just leaning into what fast cards is, is putting down. Um, so, which is implementing a new modes for to vehicles to manage their speed components and role specific functions. This release introduces the nav and SCM modes, as well as a complete retuning of all ships. So, fast car, goods, bads, and do you think it's going to make it in? Uh, I'm going to start with a bad because hopefully it's not like hover mode. People hate this hover mode. Some, uh, some hate I, I, it hover mode. Some okay, well, okay. Some people hate it in hover mode. I think it's just a matter of people not getting used to hover mode. But you know, CIG took it out before people could get used to it. I think this is going to have the same issue. Um, I mean, you can say that for uh, almost every feature in in in, in 323, but this one is especially big because it's all, mostly all encompassing. Um, the good, hopefully, that means the CIG is closer to having the game where they wanted it, where they want it to be when it comes to the flight mechanic or, 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 or the flight style and everything. And, you know, because I mean, this won't be the, the final iteration. They're going to make uh, tweaks here and there. I mean, for, for as long as the game is going to exist. But hopefully this will be like the, the last, you know, major iteration that they, they've they done on it. But we shall see. Um, confidence level. They've been talking about it forever. I'm I'm feeling ninety percent, eighty five percent that they're going to put put this in. Ness, I think even if they isn't ready or isn't where they'd like it, they're just going to pull the trigger. Like they're ready for it to exist in the world, in in whatever because they they know that they don't know things, and that is why it sounds like they're very like. There's only so much stuff we can do in AC. Like. It, it's not what we need to push this into life. And that's what it sounds like. They're just like, just, just, just get it in there. Um, I think the biggest bad for me is not really bad. It's more of a, just like, Hmm, could have been better is we're not doing per ship, um, tuning. So if it's a light fighter, it will act like a gladius. If it's a medium fighter, it will act like a hornet. If it's a large ship, it will act like a, Probably a hammerhead is probably what they're using. Uh, and there'll be these giant archetypes that everyone will fit into. Mm. And who knows when they're going to get back to actually um, uh, fixing tuning it. And it then and tuning it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because getting it in is the hard part. Tuning it's the easy part. So t- the easy part being can be kicked down the road till beta. Um, yeah, and, and as you said with beta, the idea that it, it's, it's going to change. Even like day to day sometimes it might change. So. Yeah. I, nah, I you're do. just clicking me all over the place when you say getting it in is the hardest part. I mean, you, you know better. Oh I'm on the show. You know better. No, I don't. Um. Oh, okay, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a lot of ships that really need to be tuned specifically. Like, the Fury is not supposed to function like an arrow. And that is one of the things they've had a problem with since they actually put in the Fury. Because it, it's supposed to be able to turn like basically twice as fast as any other light fighter it's supposed to be able to just spin around like they did in the preview and they actually made a comment because someone says like it doesn't turn half as fast as it does in that stupid show you know sham like it's it's a scam you you uh was it what's the what's the term people like using for trailers and ads false advertising blah 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 yeah. um but like the, well no we just we just don't have the flight model where we want it that's actually closer to what we want it to be able to do that dime flip and mm. and reverse um, uh, and stuff like 
like the caterpillar and the starfare may not actually be any different after this comes in which means the yeah. starfare is going to get heavily worse and the caterpillar is going to get way better actually the starfare is actually a pretty good one to, to put because the starfare handles like trying to capture an octopus with a pin <laughs> <laughs> like it is so hard to control it is it you turn and it won't turn until it turns like 360 degrees it is <laughs> so slow and so hard to control that you get in something like uh the whole sea which is technically bigger um uh, and it just it's so smooth and then you get into something that's just a little bit smaller the c2 and it just it glides it, it, it surprised me how smooth the whole sea flies. I was surprised when I saw that flight model. I was like, really, but this is what's the idea of going for the for the whole sea? Okay. <laughs> I, I I hope they eventually bring back the idea of point and click um, navigation for the bigger ships. Mm -hmm. So hull E javelin, where they said like the navigation guy will be doing a lot of things, but for just moving the ship, it will be looking at the map, the hollow map in the ships and saying, move to that location. And it will kind of lumber that way. Mm -hmm. Kind of like home world. <laughs> yeah. A lot more like home world. I think yeah. you'll still have, you'll still have control over it, but it'll be mm -hmm. uh, like, like, but, but maneuvering it is like flying a boat where you turn right. And it's just like, right is suggestion rather than an, an order. <laughs> so like, like, like you, you, you turn, you turn that direction and you go, okay, we're moving this way. And you turn right and it goes, Oh, <laughs> uh, we're, we're I'll think, think about twenty, Mike. Yeah. Let me get back to you on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When they get javelins into the game for players, we're going to have that uh, IS, ISD uh, maneuver yeah. where you're gonna you're gonna make one crash into the other and just completely yeah. take off half the ship. Uh, we're gonna have uh, the stupid uh, what's the destruction thing? Maelstrom, Maelstrom. 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 and we're just gonna actually rip off half the ship. Yeah, that's gonna be great. The hammerhead will actually have use because the the front end should actually be stronger <laughs> than most ships. Yeah, <laughs> probably actually really cool. But more mass world, like we know that there's a lot to go as far as specific cases, whether that's specific tuning or the entire racing community. Mm -hmm. There's there's a problem with SEM in racing, uh, or not SEM, but uh, master modes in racing. Uh, it just doesn't really fit because you can't really get up to speed that you want to get to in SCM, but you really want a lot of the features from SCM at, when you're flying that fast. And so it's just like, not the gun specifically. We do need, I think they're going to put in, I think this is what they're going to do. For racing ships, they're going to put in a racing mode. For not racing ships, you will not have a racing mode. So the uh, Razor... The P-72, uh, the Fury LX, those will have racing modes. The Starfarer will not have a racing mode. <laughs> uh, and that they'll expand this, this, uh, these different modes as they have different things. Like, industrial ships may have a specific industrial mode. And whatever, this is just like the operator seats. Whenever they find a case that doesn't fit into one of their already built things, they'll build a new case for it and put that in alongside everything else Ooh. and yes i think this is going to get in and i think it's going to be great and it's mm. going to be a lot of learning but the biggest bad is learning i'm sorry paul are we not entertaining i'm just you, so you're tired gone twice. Right now. <laughs> I, I am so tired right now i don't know why i just i just drank a lot of this i probably need to get more cut more more stay awake juice um but okay. um but the um yeah, I will say like master modes, goods. It's going to completely change how people fly. It's going to change, and it's going to move see it, it move move the needle more towards what CIG wants it to be, rather than what players want it to be. But um, bads is from what I've heard from players is some players, some PvP players are mad, not mad because they don't like the system, but they think that it doesn't do what CIG wants it to do. They don't think it's going to do what 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 CIG is hoping for. And I know there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people who are who've already showed up in chat as of like the last couple of uh, like last three hours we've been streaming who who um, like the first time we started, there was a bunch of people saying mass mode sucks. It's going to destroy the entire game. We hate it. And 
like that's how I know it's going to do okay because like if the, if the PvP community is absolutely screaming that it's terrible, it probably means that it's not meta. And if it's not meta or if it lowers the skill ceiling, some people are like, well, I like being the most skilled. I don't like the idea that other players can do 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 good with me without like without sweat try try hard. And it's like, well, yeah, but that's I don't, I don't that's think it point. lowers the skill ceiling. I think it changes how you get there. Yeah, it's and the other thing is is that it's. As as we said, it's it's the first implementation. It will get more nuanced as it goes through. But I agree, it's gonna it's gonna, they're gonna slap a a big old like homogenization patch on it. So everything's going to be like all medium interceptors are gonna fly the same. All medium fighters are gonna fly the same. All light fighters are gonna fly the same. So they're just gonna fly the same. They're gonna have the same stats. It's it's all gonna be like one exact thing. So the gladius is gonna be the the, the 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 bookmark for the arrow for everything else. So there won't be much if all at all nuance to it. And I know they can't fiscally it. do this, but I would love next year to be okay. We we can't really work on ships right now. We can have our artists like doing stuff in the back, but all of our techs, their job is to just update the crap out of all of our ships. Like, we got resource management to put in a ton of them. We got master modes to tweak. We got uh, the new, like, more resources than the resource network is going to put in. So resource network is only going to come in with basic features, the basic, like, fuses and doors and life support. That's not to say computers, like aviation blades, you know, turrets and all these other things, the components that are in ships, shields and how those work, engines and how those work. So there's a lot of backlog in tech for, for resource management and the... Harold. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I say Harold because it's the first one I remember that's just dead on arrival. Mm-hmm. It has um, no 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 point. Yeah. It, it it is a flying tick that just flies. Mm-hmm. Um and they have they have a lot of work to do. I'd like to see them just that be the, the goal is to get the ships up to the line mm-hmm. and to to stop saying well, this is coming in and we got to rework this and put this rework on the shelf and that rework on the shelf. We're waiting on a rework for like the, we know the reclaimer needs one. They've announced that they're doing a full interior work of the 600 eyes. 600. The, the Starfarer is getting an entire, entire internal rework. The, like the freelancers in progress, the modules on the Carrick don't work. And they've said that that will have to be reworked. Everything previous to 2017 needs a component update. Uh, like, they, like there's all tens of hours, hundreds of hours of work in this ship, the ships we have. I don't think the back, the ships to come out backlog is more important than the ships in game, not having functionality that we're about to have this year. I think, it's, I, I think it will swap because like the ships we have in the backlog are like the javelin Kraken, hold D like the big ships that like aren't ready the game's not ready for those to come in I'm sure there's a bunch of like low-hanging ones like the the ranger and the g12 that we're getting soon the zeus and Polaris. give me my endeavor big medium ships. no we don't want the endeavor yet <laughs> we want the endeavor we want every uh possible coming... gameplay loop to come in in a basic form before yeah. the endeavor comes out so the entire the, endeavor I, has i'm just joking things. The the arrival of the endeavor will be like the 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 the, the second coming because it will it, it will herald the completion of Star Citizen the fabled completion of Star Citizen, which may never Robert come. Robert looked on the Star Citizen and he saw it was very good. I, I as a as a as a card carrying member of the cult of the endeavor, I, I also am one of those people who's like, let it cook. All right, let let it let, cook. let, 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 let it in there. Let it simmer. Oh, how many how many endeavors do you have? Huh? I have one. I have two. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have one in buyback, but only because uh, to, like, to be to be fair, I have one which is a upgrade, a ten dollar upgrade to an endeavor from a gen- Genesis of which I own not or not Genesis, uh, Gemini, the Star Trek Gemini. Gemini. Yeah. You had to ma- so you don't have you don't have the master set. I don't have the master set. I'm not going to buy the master set. I'll get the master set in game. Oh, in game. It's exactly. Black history Mike. No, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you said it first. <laughs> <laughs> The whole setup. Uh, wow, the whole setup. All right. Uh, well, let's move on to the last two. Um, these are going to, the last ones are a little more complicated, but the, the, the next one is one that's pretty simple. And I, there's a surprising amount of drama around it. Uh, dynamic crosshair. Uh, combat helmets now support the dynamic crosshair, which allows for quicker target acquisition in close quarter situations. I understand why people are upset. I'm just saying they have no right to be. Uh, oh. You're up. You're up. Um, uh, they're nasty. Goods, bads, and is you can make it in or not. 
Uh, goods, it, you shoot where the crosshair says you're shooting. Bads, um, sweaty players go bye-bye. Wait, that's not bad. Um, <laughs> let's see. Bads. Um, you need a helmet to activate it, I guess? No, I mean, that's a good one. That, that, do you think it's making it in? That's fair. Do you think it makes it? Yeah. I, I, they've, it's a crosshair. They've never yeah. once, like, they they talk about it like it's already in the game. Like, it's already in the build already. Mm -hmm. Like, they've never, like, it's never been in a sentence where, like, yeah, we're still working on it, and we're we're trying to tweak this feature. Like, it, it, it's figuring out where the bullet's going to land, and it's pointing at it. Uh, fast card. Uh, bad, maybe buggy, maybe, ha maybe relying on how, how think, how think you are with the server. These things will be, you know, messing up. That's always the case. Uh, good. Sure. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, maybe I need to see it. Have they sold it to us or did I miss? I'm not remembering. Have they sold this dynamic cross here? Yeah, they have. At For Dynamic. brief Dynamic. seconds. Yeah. Okay, so that's why I'm, I'm not remembering it. So maybe I need yeah. to go back and look at, look, look at it again. Uh, hopefully it's good. I, I, I don't have too much to say about it. Uh, uh, if you say it, 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 they've already demonstrated or you've already seen in the game, maybe 90% um, confidence level then. Um, Warrior says no skill level at all. Like, it's a video game, for one, which instantly dis disfigures all... Um, arguments for that uh, and also you still have to learn the recoil of your gun yeah i was gonna say yeah that. i will tell you where it's gonna land but you gotta put the crosshair on your target yeah and it only works with wearing combat specific helmets and and there's also a cone for for uh for for, for missing so if it, as you miss the cone will increase or as you shoot the cone will increase so it's not like you're where you where you put the pull where you put your point is where the bullet's gonna go it's the where you put the point is where the bullet is around where the bullet's going to go. And the more you fire, the bullets are going to spread out more and more as the cone increases. If I remember correctly, reading, I think it's very balanced. Board. I honestly yeah. think it's very balanced. Like, and you have to, you have to specialize in it. You have to get a military helmet for it, which yeah. is going to sacrifice you from other stuff. So yeah. Trying uh, to like attack pirate or FPS battle, like some people who are just going about their daily tasks, they don't have that thing. So the noobs will not probably not have the dynamic crosshair. So if like you're you trying to, I, like... I, I'm I'm going to be screwed because I I think most of the most of the helmets and suits I have are like more more industrial and, and cargo. Mm -hmm. uh, suits, My so, favorite is yeah. the Odyssey. Like it's yeah, <laughs> it's the easy ones. The the yeah, ones like you I, get from the hospital. I I use the one. The my favorite is the uh, the oh gosh, what is it? It's the one that has like the the two eyes, the glowing eyes, but it's like a medium helmet. It's it starts oh, with an O's okay. well. <laughs> Oh. Uh, I, I I I'll be fine. I do had I had I had the red alert pack, so I should be fine. Yeah, but I I don't use any. Of the I real uh, I helmets, want so. to buy all the red alert paints, and they don't sell them anymore. I was upset. Uh, no, no mind. Go ahead. Fast card. Did you give oh, the Oracle? Thank you, because there's another O. Oh, yeah, the Oracle, and yeah, it's a Castac Arms one. It's not a combat helmet one, so I, I don't know if I'll have one or not. Yeah, fast card. Did you give your opinion on it? I think yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, I went first this time. Uh, I was, what I was going to say is, is there's there's definitely more variation than people are giving it credit for, and if it's too overpowered, CIG will nerf it. Like it's 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 as simple as simple as that. Yep. That like, never happened, Paul. Yes, yeah, because they didn't have Huffman and took it out. Entirely, <laughs> I give you every like ship that. that's come out in the past five to ten <laughs> years yeah. ever. Um, I, I think that the only negative is that it's it's going to be one of those things that's going to be very divisive for some people, apparently. Um, and it's, um, it's, uh, if it, it's not going to get fixed immediately, it's going to take some time for it to get fixed after it gets put I mean, in there. So like you said earlier, before you were doing the, the, the podcast, like love it or hate it. That's it's, you're passionate about the project. So you're, you're making numbers go up. Yeah. And, like, and this isn't Tarkov. If you Tarkov. didn't care, it'd be worse. It's, this isn't Tarkov. Like, like at a certain point, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, it's not Tarkov. It never was supposed to be Tarkov. It has uh, Tarkov elements to it, and it, it's definitely going to have some um, some tactical awareness. But you know, not everything is going to be one for one. And yeah, I, I think I think the argument that it takes the skill away is is bogus. I, I think it's I think it's it's uh, it's people cl clutching at pearls. So um, you know, but that's just me. Um, 
and uh, if you if you don't dislike it, make sure you play it first and uh, before you start screaming about it, and and then give feedback for it. That's that's how everything has changed in Star Citizen. Is people play it and give Wait. feedback. So. Constructive feedback. <laughs> Constructive feedback. That's yeah. important. Yeah, I mean, because if if it if it entirely does remove uh, player skill, which I don't think it does, because knowing the kind of people who are in charge of CIG's FPS systems, they have done many FPS games more than just like, uh, d- like uh, like like arcade games, and uh, I know many of them play more looter sh- like like uh, extraction shooters and stuff like that too, and more more tactical stuff. So it's and, a matter of giving I'm, feedback. I'm, I'm, it's constructive, you know. I, I, I want to give a, a, a quick uh, example. Like on Soul Talk on Thursday, um, there was a thread that we covered. Um, this person did 75 missions of Seeds of Orsons and then had specific details and, and um, analysis of Seeds of Orsons and, 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 and the devil responded. So stuff like that, yeah, they listen. Yeah. Uh, who said it was supposed to be Tarkov? There's mul- a lot of people I've. A lot I've, of people. A lot of people I've uh, I've seen in complain about those the crosshairs. Go, go to the off, Refundian um, uh, Reddit. There, there there's a lot of them over there. there. There's there's a lot of people who who will compare this to Tarkov and say that because Star Citizen is adapting some elements of Tarkov and that because Star Citizen uh, wanted to be more. Uh, they they said at one point that they wanted it to be more like Rainbow Six is the kind of the kind of element they were looking for like uh that sort of style like not full tactical or full like sim but like like a semi kind of around that um and uh there's a lot of people who kind of want it to be something either that it's not or whatever so um yeah i mean i don't, don't want to wade into that because that's definitely a there's definitely going to be a, a bunch of people in the comments now that are like paul you have no idea what you're talking about they here's a list of here's a specific time when chris roberts specifically said that he wanted to be tarkov and and that he wants to ever to be a tarkov and he wants to be a clone of tarkov in space or some other like 12 hour compilation of everything cig said that they lied about or whatever but Oh, like, you're ruining the analytics uh, uh, of, of this YouTube video because people are, are, are commenting, are, are typing their reply to you right now. Now they're hitting back base because because you you just told no, them not no. to. No, I, I, I want them. I want them to have hit enter while they're and then play as a scan and be like, "Damn, he called me. He caught me on this." On this. <laughs> I, and I know no one, no one really cares no. about this this comment, but I'm gonna say it anyway because it makes me feel better and makes me have this weird idea that people will actually listen and actually give constructive criticism. Criticism. You can have negative constructive criticism. Yeah. All you have to do to make a a comment is bad into constructive criticism is explain why. Mm-hmm. Give a reason why you don't like it. Even if it's like I don't I feel like it's bad. If you can explain why you feel that way or any specific thing that made it worse than what you think it should be, whatever that little thing is, one it matters. Whatever that thing is that is making you say it's bad or it's or it doesn't work or it is making the game worse, whatever that, however little, it matters. Mm-hmm. Tell them. TIG. I just want to say, TIG, Master Boat is a horrible name because it harkens back to... Yeah, okay, never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> I mean, it is a bad name. It, it, it should be like... <laughs> Because it, it also it, doesn't it doesn't actually t- tell you what it means because CIG is bad at naming. It should be something like 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 mode system or something like that. Because profession it's modes yeah. or flight mode. Pursuit mode, like night rider. Yeah. Like, <laughs> whatever. It's 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 gotta be something like that. Like primary modes. Cause because it's it's really what it's saying is it's breaking down the system, the flight system into multiple different stages, is all it is. So um, you know. Yeah. Anyways, um, that's that's kind of the last little little talk about it, and I'll I'll, I'll end this off before we go into the question and answers. And I can't believe yeah, I'm saying one more question and answers when we're already like three yeah, hours into this uh, into this. But uh, overall, based off what we've talked about, and I'll start with you on this fast card. Are you excited for three dot twenty three? Or are you concerned, or like, you're, are you kind of wary of three out twenty three? I am op- uh, cautiously optimistic about three three out twenty three. I am okay. excited, yes. Um, and I don't don't have too many concerns. I mean, we spent three hours uh, talking about our concern, yeah. but um, I'm mostly excited, more, more concerned. There's a few things here and there that I'm not really 
confident we'll get into um into 2023 but i'm hopeful so yeah I, i'm excited i'm more excited than concerned how about that okay uh nazareth you're saying uh are we skipping um replication layer update Oh, I completely forgot about replication layer. Let's finish talking about the. Let's, let's go. We'll, we'll circle back to replication <laughs> okay, layer. Okay. Uh, I think I'm very much the same. Cautiously optimistic. I, I. So many things that's coming in 3.23 are finally the things that I've wanted Star System to be. It doesn't quite have that life in 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 the verse kind of feel yet, but the cargo updates, the moving cargo by hand stuff, the map actually working stuff. Um, it, it's a. Lo- I've had a lot of friends and a lot of a lot of people I've talked to. Like, I really like doing this or like salvage or mining. Like, I like running F- FPS in this game. Really- and I've never quite had their enthusiasm for the gameplay of Star Citizen, and with the whole C, I'm finally starting to get that that love of the game into it. Mm-hmm. And because Star Citizen has so much more in cargo and so many other quality of life fixes, I'm finally able to love the game, not just the project. Okay. Um, I will say overall, I am... I don't know how to put this. I'm optimistic about it, and I wouldn't say cautiously optimistic. I would say it's specifically, I am... Optimistic for the changes, but I also think that a lot of these changes are just, they're not new gameplay. No, there are very few new gameplay aspects to this. It's mostly bringing the systems we currently have into updated parity with what they should be. Uh, kind of like, it feels much more like a replacing placeholders with the, with the final versions, um, even if it's the first version of the final versions. Uh, so, so like, like I'm, I, my enthusiasm is tempered by the idea that like, while these are cool, they're just what we already have, but better than we had before. It's not an upgrade as much as it's a side grade, though it is still an upgrade because some of these things are like, like improvements to the systems we have, star but map. <laughs> the star map, but also like, like the looting screens and, and those sort of things. Um, but like we already have car, we already have like, uh, inventory management. We already have cargo. We already have uh, a star map, a Moby Glass. Uh, we we have all of these things already in game. Yeah, it's this, just, this is the final version one. Yeah, this is the final version. <laughs> I don't want to say that. <laughs> final version. You know how they say final version uh, and then final version one and then final version two and then final version three. Right. <laughs> and stuff. This is final version dot dot mov or whatever. <laughs> so uh, we're going to wait for final version dot dash seventeen at some point, but. Like, there's no new systems that are going to be developed for this, we hope, because it is Chris Roberts game. We don't know. Um, but, yeah, no, that's that's it. And now let's go talk about the replication layer, because I'm going to start off by saying <laughs> this is a late addition to the repli- uh, to, to the to the star map. This is our star map, to the roadmap, um, because this was this was supposed to be out. And I do want to temper people's expectations. This was supposed to be out in 3.21. 3.21 was called 3.21 because it was supposed to have the replication layer, which is why they made it a major patch. And um, that it didn't. <laughs> it, it didn't. So it was really 3.21 was really three, uh, two, uh, two, uh, 3.20.2, like two, I think is what it was, or 3.20.1, one of the two. Um, and then it didn't actually happen. So then we had, it was supposed to come in 3.22. And obviously we're so close to 3.23 that they've just decided not to release it with 3.22. Right. So it's been kicked down the way, road a while. This is one of those things that have slipped off the roadmap multiple times. It's one of the first ones that have done it since the new updates. So personally, I don't think it's coming in. I might, it might come in in 3.23.1 or something like that, but it's, I don't think it's coming in the base version. Because that would be, I feel like, too much of a change. Then again, I don't know how many of the systems we have currently that are being on the roadmap are reliant on this system coming in. Because we also know that there's maybe this may be freeing up a lot of back end um, uh, like memory that yeah, would more, the, more the, the game's on working. So, uh, fast card, your thoughts on uh, replication layer? Yeah, I have no idea what my confidence level is about this. Like you said, three twenty one. When was 321? October? Uh, no, September. September? No, 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 October 19th, 2023. October uh, okay, October. 19th. So, uh, a few months late. 
<laughs> How buggy do you want this patch to be? <laughs> yeah. Yes, in a sign so, of ramen. <laughs> so, I mean, the bad, whenever the street replication layer comes in, that's going to be a really, really buggy patch. I'm uh, talking about maybe 318 level buggy. But, you know, the good is that, you know, after it's uh, iterated on, it'll be smooth sailing after that. So, you know, that's how it goes. Whenever replication layer comes in, I would recommend people maybe they want to take, up, take that month off and start sort of thing. Take something else while they're, while they're um, doing it. Because that's really, uh, how big I think it'll be. Uh, confidence level, I don't know. I, don't, I, I have no clue about confidence level. 50 50. How about that? <laughs> Ness? Uh, before I start, somebody said that uh, Kenny G in, in, in YouTube said 3.3 is the Odyssey Star Citizen Odyssey patch. That sounds like a CIG name because the ship called the Odyssey, and the Odyssey is not in this patch, so of course they would name it the Odyssey patch. Anyway, that said, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be slightly tinfoil hatty about this. Okay. Okay. Uh, which is this will definitely make it into 3.23. Okay. Probably not the base patch. Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay. I could, I could but, buy it. They have been, they have said this very clearly and several times. 4.0 is supposed to be, still supposed to be the next patch, which means they will not move off of this branch until replication layers in because it's a prerequisite to get to server meshing and server meshing is in 4.0. Yeah. So we just basically can't move past the 3.23 branch until this gets added. Yeah. And, and what I, you're saying is... Uh, real quick, what you're saying is you're going to have 323 for about a year. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that is well, the plan. I think, but it'll be called something different. Like 3.24 is going to be a plan. We are going to get a 3.24, almost certainly. But it I, will I just think be the 3.23. Yeah, I think 3.24 is going to be everything that's in 4.0 that doesn't require server meshing. Uh, all right. Well, for that, we're going to take a break because it's been three hours and we got we to do the question and answers. So no, 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 knowing these long, quite these long stuff, we'll probably get to the question and answers and a lot of the stuff we'll just have already answered. So, um, as, so thank you for sticking with us. comedian says, get in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back. I'm going to mute us while, while we do this and you can listen to some fancy music while we go. Later, y'all. We'll be right back.
Welcome back uh, to the question and answer session with uh, Fastcart and the Nova Force, aka Nazareth. Uh, we're going to be starting off with some questions. We actually don't have a lot of questions, which is nice, but we do oh, have. No, we only have four. Um, but oh, wow, we do have Fastcart to ask, really ask three questions. So a bunch of people will uh, try to post stuff in the, here in the moment. So let's start with uh, with Fastcart. Fastcart, ask your questions. Let's go. Hello, I'm Fastcart FC. Welcome back, everybody. So my first question is. How big do you think the patch will be? My folder is currently 98 gigs. How big do you think 323 will be total? Oh, over, over, uh, uh, what is it, like over 100 gigs, probably? Yeah, just over 100, like, like 105 or just 100 yeah, or? If I'm guessing like 120. 120, ooh, for 323 yeah. by itself? Well, because a lot of this stuff is going to be re replacements, but then there's also brand new features that are coming in, brand new assets, and uh, probably ships as well, which will increase it. So, I, I no, think okay. post update, well, the patch itself will be probably 20 gigs, I'm thinking. So, whatever current level is, plus 20. Yeah. Oh, so, 118. Okay. So, yeah, I, I would, I, my, if I had a guess, I would just pick 105, 105 gigabyte. That's my guess. Yeah, it's also important to remember that a lot of this stuff is going to be eventually like uh, brought down, but that's not like that's not until beta, like when they can actually optimize some things and fix some things up. And and but there is a lot of stuff that's going to be replacing older stuff. So the older files will be going away, which are probably more memory intensive than the newer yeah. files because they weren't optimized. Right. So that's why that, that, that's why my number is lower. Yeah, yeah and eventually some of the some of the stuff will also be moved to the server because there's no way. With Stanton being over 100 gigs, we can possibly fit 100 star systems. So eventually, they're going to have to find a way to not have a star system on your computer and stream in the star systems as you get to them. So the launch file will eventually be different, uh, small as well. I'm, I'm going to give some history because I'm, uh, I didn't think about it until I remember this until now. But there was a point, I want to say 2017, 2018 ish, a mm -hmm. developer, CID developer said that you know the game will be over 100 gigabyte and get back then that was a big deal <laughs> you know because you know it, 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 i mean yes we had our um, mechanical drive and stuff like that but you know they typically weren't that big so that was so now that we're posting this it's not that really a big deal now because we so, so many so, so many games are, are I mean, so like, big what, now. What, is, what is warzone warzone is like like oh, easily 100 over 100 gigs right now uh um, for for Call of Duty and yeah, I I wouldn't be surprised if Star Citizen ends up being like a terabyte. Over, oh, I was gonna say two hundred gigabyte for oh Star Citizen, Star Citizen. Okay, yeah, Star All Citizen. Right. Uh, Squad Forty Two, I sure will, will be a little over a hundred, I think. But yeah, according to a uh, oh Ark Survival is four hundred gigs. What? Mm hmm. Ugh. With all its, with all the expansions, yeah. It's horrible. Uh, I, all I say, all I gotta say, if you gotta download 400 gigs, do that over multiple months. Months, if you if you're on a bandwidth cap, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to do that all at once. So uh, that that's my first question. My next question is: When Green Twenty Three comes out, do you think there'll be more playable now commercials? Green Twenty Three, playable now. Yeah, of course. That's yeah. that's their that's their that's their tagline is playable now. It's it's always going to be the play tagline. It's kind of like how uh, Helldivers Two just came out, and its uh, its tagline is uh, the 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 first and last line of offense. Well, it's it's a tagline. I don't it's remember being after three hundred eighteen. I don't remember seeing any more. Yeah, it was. Now it's, since it's, it, it's been in there ever since three hundred eighteen. Every single patch okay. has had playable now at the end. It's no, just, no, 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 no. I'm talking about new commercial. New commercial specifically yeah. for three, 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 like yeah. 318. I, 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 don't, I don't remember 319, 320, or any 319, other commercial. 319, 320, 321, 322 That's all had commercial. playable now at the end. Yeah, they all had they all had playable now at the end. It's just that 318 yeah. was so bad that people complained that it was just <laughs> false advertising but it's been right. their tag since before 318 it's been their tag since like three yeah it's always been a tag yeah yeah so i think 30 had it okay okay M -m maybe i'm not coming i know the push for for 318 commercial that's what i meant there's like advertising that oh you, you mean you, you mean like like an actual like a big advertising at the very beginning that's what i meant yeah, yeah they they that's had the same I mean. thing they had the same thing with 319 and 320 
Um, I think they laid off a little bit on the first week, like the first week of 319 coming up. They didn't have a giant push and they did it like the second week because people myself even said, like, if you are unsure of your product's ability, don't promote a product as being playable when it's actively being shitted on by the Internet. That's bad. That's a bad (laughs) idea. So and and CIG 100 percent knew internally that it was going to be rough. So why did you push it? That was stupid. Like you could have just I think I'll be um the available would be replication layer. If 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 three twenty three had replication layer, they probably should not put out those commercials, in my opinion, because it would be yeah. buggy. I agree. If if I had a, if I had a line to CIG's marketing team, that was what what I'd be saying is like if you haven't just talk with your talk with your developers, and ask them if what like how playable do they think it is and. Uh, if they say there's going to be many major issues, we, we anticipate major issues, then don't put it out. But I, I, but ever since then, they have had those commercials they've released on day one of those patches being out. I don't know if they've been playing, because I, I don't I, have... I, I, know, I know they have the trailers, so. but I, and, uh, every so often they, they use the trailers as, as commercials that they, for, for yeah. push, but that's... A, yeah, okay. And okay. I do think they have been they have been pushing those commercials. Like, I, I'm sure, and I'm sure someone in chat could tell us if they got commercials for Star Citizen 3.22 when it came out, or 3.21, or 3.20. Because I'm sure they did. I just don't think it was as sudden. I think it's just more of a visceral reaction too. Because like 318, it was, yeah, reaction it was so bad. People just got mad about it because like like well, I hadn't seen this before. It's like because you weren't mad about it before. It just was just kind of there. <laughs> that's true. You know. Yeah. So. All right. And your last that's one. Fair. Uh, what do you think this year's April Fool joke will be? Because you know they had the four, the four hundred four I, they had the uh, Big Benny freelancer, they had the a, uh, the mess of perfume. <laughs> there was there was a there was a uh, a leak about it in one of the builds that they actually they left in the April Fool's joke. Um, oh. So it's actually in game, I think. But uh, we'll see. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I don't. I don't want to hear. I, I, I want to wait. But I, I, yeah. I, if you if you didn't know, I, I, I want to hear you again. But if you if you know it, yeah. I don't, I don't well, I, I don't remember. I don't remember it, what what it was. I just remember them. It would being in there as like April Fools, like kind of as. No. Oh, okay. Um, Nash. Fish aliens. <laughs> that was a Star Trek episode, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was just lots of things episodes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I if, if I if I wanted to what I'd want to see for an April Fool's joke um, is uh, oh gosh well, I had I had this in my mind and then it, it kind of disappeared. There's an April Fool's it joke. Says beta. Um, yeah, uh, the the the, uh, the joke that I'd really want them to do I can't remember what it was, uh, but it's 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 like. Um, Oh, no, I can't remember what it is. I'd have, I'd have to think it, think it up again. But it, it came up every so often. It's like a lore based, but it's also an in game based joke. Um, so, <laughs> you know. Uh, so I, I have remember. one. What is it? So, so you know how. What, what's that new game that everybody's playing now? Uh, Power World. Power World? Is, is, uh, they, they have like a. Not, I want to say issues or problems, but you know. Related to Pokemon, that yeah. people were saying. So, how about this year for April Fool's Day for uh, CI, for a clock, uh, Star Citizen? Uh, you can collect a, a, a pet uh, Abuel Abu- Stalker or a pet uh, yeah. Whip Crab. Uh, <laughs> no, or, oh, no, a pet Sandworm. Yeah, that'd be great. For, uh, I think that'd be a great April Fool. Awesome. Somebody on YouTube said BMM release April 1st. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> if they want mad, if they want to be mad. Um, That's a big oof. Um, All right, so those are my three questions. I may think of more later. Okay. Stability <laughs> patch <Yeah>. April 1st. <laughs> um, I, I may, may, maybe a joke about releasing, um, releasing a Squadron 42 mobile game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And with the tagline, y'all love phones. Y'all have phones, right? Yeah. Or no, or, no. The tag, the tagline would be answer the call. Oh, I, no. Okay. CIG does That's not good. do self burns. That's good. <laughs> that would be my. I mean, if I was CIG, I would do that because it's a self burn that makes shows you you have humility and that you can take a joke, which yeah, I know that the works. devs at CIG can. So, I mean, no joke. If, if, if they decided. 
no joke, if they decided to to make a mobile oh. game, they would make so much money. Like, like, how many of these games make million million dollars per day? Oh, billions <laughs> yes. per per day. Yeah, you know, kind of thing. Right. Um, yeah. all right, our billions per month is a lot of them. All right, let's, right the yeah. first question is from Shimpasta, who asks, when do you feel we'll get poop mechanics in game to complement the sanitized mechanics that are coming? Is that sanitized? I feel like that's looking... a loaded question. Oh, are God. We, are we getting that's sanitized? Fun. I don't think we're getting sanitized. We're getting, we're getting hygiene. That's, hygiene. I think that's what uh, I mean. That's that, that probably but, what they meant. But hygiene is part of, poop is part of hygiene. That would be, that would be something that would be part of the hygiene. It would probably wouldn't be the first version of it, obviously, but. They have, um, I, th I think. I don't know if it mechanic. will be because it is like the poop mechanic is completely optional and yeah. taking a shower isn't. Yeah. So some parts yeah. said they, they meant hygiene. Yeah. So I, I think yeah. we'll get poop mechanic whenever whenever we get that um that toilet that can shoot people into the air like that yes. one that ISC that we, <laughs> that we had. I think I think that's what we get when we'll get poop mechanic. I mean they took it game. seriously. They're taking it seriously, which means that some poor animator is gonna have to animate someone taking a shit and not uh, to mention the uh, voice actor. The voice actor and then also the oh uh my God. the, the, the least, someone's gonna have to be a no cap. I, you know? I have a request to to, to have Anna. I, I can't. I can't pronounce her last name. Demetrio. Uh, yeah. To to do, do that voice. Do, oh, do that voice acting. Almost certainly, Anna would do it as a joke. Uh, if, she, <laughs> exactly. if she got if she got paid for it, she'd do it as a joke. Um, uh, like there's gonna have to be like effects artists and prop artists, and someone's gonna have to mocap that shit. You know. Um, <laughs> and the foley. The foley. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the foley's gonna be great. That's that's. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, I, I, and as someone says it's, you know, Chekhov's toilet uh, that you're going to have to because it's there. It's going to have to be used. I, I don't think CIG is going to go. I, I have faith that CIG won't go as far as people think they will, because I think if they go too far, they're going to get in trouble with like ratings reviewers or governments who will be it's like perverts. Out. Do they really care about ratings? And, I mean, no, but at the same time, the, the problem is, is that it's it's there's a lot of. There's a lot of uh, like there's controversy that will sell you games and there's controversy that you're just going to do for a lot of effort. Oh, no. and, and, yeah, like it's it's like that will get the attention of like a government like Australia, which will then start paying attention to it because they're not going to be reviews. But they said that they if they were to send it into reviews, they wanted to make it a T for team rating. It would be it would be what they were shooting for. Um, but they wouldn't change if, if something but they wanted to add. If you have corpses on the ground. But but, uh, but that's the thing. It's like they said, if they and if blood. they want if they wanted something, teen, teen for teen, you can have you can have blood, and I think even corpses. Uh -huh. It's uh, it's just you can't have like like you can't have like the like the guts the hanging out, out and you know that yeah. kind of stuff like that. Um, but uh, they said that if they wanted to add something specifically uh, to it that would push it into M, they wouldn't they wouldn't change it. It's like the, the T is what they're shooting for, but not changing the game to to meet the rating kind of thing. Um. I, I, uh, that was that was a long time ago when they said something like that. So yeah, but they, they, they might have changed their mind by now. But we don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think when hygiene the next the next version of hygiene would come in because the first version isn't even for players; it's for NPCs. Right. So, like earliest some back half of next year. Yeah, next year or this year? Next year. Next year. Next year. We basically yeah. know what this year is. It's, yeah, it's mm. it's three twenty three, whatever the heck they do between now and three twenty four, and then, and then pain. Yeah, and then twenty twenty four, they're now fighting. <laughs> they're gonna firefight from from four point oh till four point three, and uh, once they once they have things under under control with four point three, then you start adding more things. So yeah, and, and, um, uh, everyone's tinfoil hat squadron at the end of the year. So like, I don't think so. But you don't? No. Interesting. I, I think that they, they internally want Squadron at, um, at, this, the, uh, at the end of this year. But I also uh, think that because they still need a, a year to ramp up for, for advertising and they have, we haven't seen a single advertisement and we have no date. There's no way CIG is going to go to CitizenCon and be like, the Squadron is released. Goodbye. Because that would be a yeah, waste. Okay. That would be a waste of, of, of the game because it, it would flop harder than, than anything else in the universe because... You just wouldn't get a lot of uh, a lot of buzz. It would get some buzz for releasing, but you need to have like 
like an advertisement rollout. You need to have a lot of things to get people to n notice that it exists. So I, I think there's still time I think, to get that. Out. I think the earliest it'll come out is February fifth, twenty twenty five, because you know, yeah, two five two five. Yeah, that's that would right. be that, 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 that would early. be a good that would be a good marketing gimmick. But I I, I do think that we'll probably see uh, summer at the earliest be summer twenty twenty five, and at the latest is is winter of well, five two two twenty five. We could do it that way too. Yeah. Five two twenty five, yeah. But the, the problem about the about the release in in the fall is that it would almost certainly coincide with GTA six, and that's a bad idea. Not because, and I've said this before, because uh, a lot of people could say, because say Paul, they're not the same game. Paul, it's not coming <laughs> I was on PC. <laughs> Paul, Paul, this is that's this the is same the genre. It this wouldn't is the, matter. This is a if console. Two released along Kenny Crush, the best sequel. It, yeah. it doesn't matter. If there's a game that has as much buzz as a triple A studio, a fermented series, and a new, how long, how many years has it been? Like 12 something years or something mm -hmm. since GTA 5? Five? Five, yeah. There is no way any other game, even a EA, wouldn't dare put a release on in that week. I wouldn't release well, a movie GTA. at that same week. Rockstar. Yeah. Rockstar. Okay. I I wouldn't I wouldn't release a movie that same week. I wouldn't release a, <laughs> a, I wouldn't release an, a a music album that same week. It's gonna suck the air out of the entire the entire media landscape for so at if, least a if month. If anyone in chat is a manager at any company, don't expect your workers to be in that week. No, they're gonna be gone. <laughs> I mean, like like honestly, if if you if you do expect anything to happen the week that thing launches. Or to see anything else, you're like a mistake. Anyone who there's, there's going is, to be a a flare up of COVID. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's it, it's just just a mistake. And so I think CIG, uh, if they have a this 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 thing, they either need to push it before GTA Six or push it to the next year. Like just that's that's what don't do uh, it before. They have to. Yeah, I'm like, gonna say either way. If you they, do it before. Right. Well, this has happened for a lot of games. If you do it before, they'll pick it up like, oh, now GTA is up. Now I can go play that. It will steal whatever momentum you would have had. So if you're well, going to delay it or if you're going to Baldur, do one Baldur's of the Baldur's Gate side, 3 couple. is a great example. Baldur's Gate mm -hmm. 3 was going to release this around the same week as Starfield. And so instead, they released it a month early. And the reason why they, and they did it because they didn't want to release it around Starfield. They never said it, I don't think explicitly, but it was pretty obvious that they didn't want to release an RPG around an RPG, even though they're completely different genres. And they knew that because they knew that Starfield would suck the air out of the room for anything else. So they released it on August when, when, when GTA released, or GTA, uh, Starfield released in September. And we still talking about Baldur's Gate 3 because it was a good game compared to the garbage right. that was, was Starfield. But I don't think, uh, I don't think, and sorry, and I, this is from somebody who likes Starfield. It just, it just did not have the, the, the staying Sticking. power that, that everyone, everyone hoped it did. I, I um, hope GTA, for, I don't play GTA, but I hope for I the sake of the people either. who enjoy GTA, that GTA is not a disappointment. No. With, I, I, with as much time has been before. It's also Rockstar. It, they're good at what yeah. they do. They made, they made Red Dead Redemption 2. Like since then, and and it's it's fantastic. So I, I expect nothing but but fantastic things from GTA Six, even if it's just. Uh, yeah. So that's that's so GTA Six is twenty twenty five. Yeah. So I still hold to like I still see it possible to come out this year. I if they have if it comes out this year they're gonna have to make the release announcement uh, in the next couple of months by by yes. Invictus. Yes. They'd have to make. I it don't see it coming this year, but that's by great. by year half I will definitely concede. Like that possibility, yeah, for sure. For the if next they, three months, I, I will hold to this. I think. I think Put the answer way. is you know, announcement. Uh, they'll announce the release of Squadron at, or like the release date of Squadron at CitizenCon. That's when they'll do it, not in time before. So yeah, I'm um, ready for that. They haven't even announced the details for a CitizenCon this year. After that, other than it'll be at Manchester. That's what Dino said the past week, I believe. So, I mean, they would definitely put an announcement for Squadron 42 before Citizen, before the announcement of CitizenCon, in my opinion. And they're going to announce CitizenCon next, this, either this month or next month, because they already said in the month they were, yeah, that they were planning on doing that. So, like, like soon. And mm -hmm. from the sounds of things, it's, oh. we're probably going to find out in this month or in March. Probably around there. And we won't have a lot longer to wait till I mean, they're right or wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, and, and again, for anybody who has not heard me say this before, I used to work in marketing. I've done, been doing this specific job for, you know, as a job, but like as a hobby uh, for streaming for so long that I have enough experience 
to know that you need a ramp up time for an activation simply because you want to have enough saturation of people seeing your product that it makes sense that they will buy it. And you want to do it over a long period of time because um, you want it a slow saturation. And then you, when you get close to it, you want to just drop a bunch of stuff at the same time. As much as people hate the number of ads that are on Twitch right now for Skull and Bones, you know that Skull and Bones is coming out. That you know that Skull and Bones is coming out. You probably didn't know that Skull and Bones was coming out before that. I can't wait and to see reviews for it. I I am if nothing else excited to see this game that's been in turmoil development turmoil for years to see if they come out on their feet. If nothing else, you know. Yeah. I, I may be in a minority because I actually have YouTube Premium, so I never see ads at, at the beginning of these. Uh, so, so, I, so, I, so I've heard enough people complain about, about, it. about this game. I, I, I've heard enough people complain about it on my stream to know that it, they're they're saturating the market with the with the, with the ads. What is Skull so. and Bones? It's it's Assassin's Creed Black Flag, but not Assassin's Creed and all in boats. It's it's the yeah it's Assassin's Creed Black Flag, but multiplayer. That's what it is. Yeah, it, it is. Hey, remember that thing we did in Assassin's Creed Black Flag? Yeah, we want to steal everything that um, that other pirate game that's multiplayer is doing. Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves is doing. That is it. That is that is literally the like entire pitch of the game. It is Assassin's Creed Black Flag, but Sea of Thieves. Yeah, Captain Serious Run brings it in. In advertisement, we call it the Rule of Twelve. Nobody calls it uh, wanted a chicken chalupa sandwich from Taco Bell the first time they saw it, but the thirteenth time they they were they were in line. And it's not necessarily like you one hundred percent will capture everyone the twelfth time, but after that, after a certain amount of time, you will know that it exists. Yeah, and, and you knowing it that it exists will either mean memes are made of it, people will talk about it, people will complain about it, and and, and the rule is. It doesn't matter uh, if they hate you or love you, as long as they spell the name right and they're talking about you. That's it. So, and like, there's a lot of work for executives to do during this ramp because they're gonna need to, like, just like Todd Howard was, in inventory twenty four seven on some sort of video game show. Yeah, he'll be called some... at all hours of the day until it releases, yeah, and then sometimes. Cool. And you might even have something. Go ahead. Uh, well, okay, uh, off topic almost, or non sequitur. Do you do, 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 do you do you think like uh, Todd Howard was on Stephen Colbert? Do you think that Chris Roberts w were going Stephen Colbert when what you do? I do think Chris up? cares what the heck Todd Howard's doing. I, I do. I do think that we'll we'll almost certainly see because Chris Roberts is apparently good friends with Mark Hamill, which is one of the reasons why Mark Hamill signed up for it. I know people make the joke that Mark Hamill doesn't even remember he's in it. I guarantee he does. He just doesn't <laughs> talk about it. Um, it, 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 when, when it comes time to promote it, Chris will ask Mark to go on shows and talk a little bit about his uh, his experience with it. Yep. Because who's going to say no to Mark Hamill coming on to the show? It's like, yeah, okay, yeah, that's true. They'll, they'll talk to him about any of the projects he's been part of, Joker or Star, Star Wars, and he'll be like, oh, well, what are you here for? Oh, I'm here to talk about Star Citizen and that kind of thing. Um, I don't know if Henry Cavill yeah. did it. So. No. Well, he's a big star. Well, it de depends on if Cavill likes the game or not. That is really true. Like if it's CIG, if you want Cavill's endorsement, just have him <laughs> sit down and play the game ahead of time. Yeah. Get him Film in the him office, playing let it, him play. Give him all the peripherals he wants and let him play for like a couple of hours. And if he likes it, he will gush about it to everyone. And that is one way you're going to get every single Warhammer 40K fan to buy your game. Even if they don't know you exist, they'll buy it for you. So and, and a lot of women to buy the game, too. Um, <laughs> Bad men. Yeah. Yeah, uh, like, like Cavill is one of those figures. It's it's like a I'm gonna say this and it's, people are gonna rip me for it, but he's like the uh, the Taylor Swift of uh, of of uh, of nerds. Um, like he's like where he goes, people will follow. Is fake nerd. He is not a fake nerd. <laughs> he's not no, fake. No, he he almost lost his his job as for Superman because he was on a WoW raid. Oh wow! And he yeah. lost the job at The Witcher because he was he was having fights was with the writers he, he because about of, the they were changing the story. Yeah, you know, like like he showed off he showed off his his Warhammer collection, which he's been like building up since he was fourteen. He's just a muscle nerd. He's a nerd who also enjoys working uh, out. Vin That's Diesel it. the same way. Yeah, mm -hmm. Vin yeah. Diesel we used to play D and D all the time. Like you know, uh, right. And also, I will respect anyone when they do their first PC build on camera. <laughs> Oh, he was, uh, a, he, first? he was a healer in WoW? Man, that man deserves a medal. Jesus wow. Christ. Yeah, that was the first time he actually built a computer. Okay. Yeah. yeah I, I, I remember seeing that. I didn't, I didn't know it was his first one. He did yep. a pretty good job. The only thing he messed up on was, that, was the heat thing being upside down, right? <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, yeah. Not fair. Um, uh, but make sure you tell Henry Campbell that the webcam turns on um, on on the first boot. They actually changed that, uh, Moriarty. Last I know, that the uh, if they have a webcam on the uh, uh, yeah no, that, yeah yeah after after the freaking Expanse guy tweeted about it, you know, uh, as, <laughs> as, as, a, as a as a like, yep, you're so oh, yeah, the writers so, right. Yeah. So Dang, I've forgotten so, so much stuff that has happened. <laughs> yeah. I remember that now that you mentioned it, but yeah, well, I think that's what, that's what Moria is referring to because it's mm-hmm. one of those things. So, um, all right. Uh, next question. Oh, wait, I think we were, we were talking off something else. I don't remember what we were talking about, but whatever. Um, next question. Squadron releasing. Uh, oh, squadron releasing. I, like the, the, the reality is, is I think what I was saying before, just like, you're going to have, celebrities doing the circuits if you can get them to do it and there's a lot of lead up because you want as many people to have heard about it as possible in your demographic especially in your demographic but in general just like yeah it's it's a successful campaign if the your 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 relatives or friends who are not video game players are talking about squadron 42 that is a successful campaign because it means it's saturated enough so that people understand the name and that they that, that means that that people who are prospective buyers will probably already buy it. So, yeah. Yeah, my, my, I specifically asked about Chris Roberts because I don't want another example of um the guy who did No Man's Sky. Oh yeah, yeah. On Stephen Colbert. That, okay, that, that's okay. what I was trying to reference. But yeah, I'm yeah. hoping that that, so, that didn't happen. That was there was, it was Sony's fault. That was Sony's yeah. fault. Is, that was is Sony's was. fault. So, yeah. uh, Hello Games was a very very small studio, and they right. were taken under the wing of Sony. And then I forget his After name. After an accident, it, it was it was it was because a flood had destroyed their uh, their, their their software. Like their yes. entire office was destroyed, and they were out of money, and they couldn't continue to make it. And Sony basically paid them to make the game. As a, oh, as I didn't a know that. Okay, there. yeah. Sony yeah. does some really nice things until they then do what they did with No Man's Guys. They they let the the designer go out and say stuff. And then they said, yes, everything he said plus more is going to happen on launch day. And they never gave anyone a chance to think about it and to check. They just ran it and ran it and ran it to every, th- every word well, he said, never checking it. And Sean, Sean Murray was the only one Sean talking. Murray. He was the only one talking. He was not, he was never checked. He was, he doesn't know never what checked. PR is. He, he just, this he, was, a, this was like a five person dev team. Yeah. It would be it would be like taking a random person like like a like a the lead of QA in Star Citizen and sticking him in front of a camera and talking about the the, the things they have no training in media, um uh, like like there's a lot of there's a lot of like problems in 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 doing that to somebody and there's there's there's, there's I think there's a lot of interviews and a lot of uh, like kind of videos talking about Sean Murray's like. Even Sean Murray talking about how like he didn't know what he was doing, <laughs> like he was just yeah. I I, I, I just want to issue a correction. I, I said Todd Todd Howard going on 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 Stephen Colbert. I meant Sean Murray, Sean Murray. so that, ah. that's my mistake. Yeah, that, that's, that's that one my thing mistake. I'd like from the the wider game industry is I want to know how different lead designers. So like Will Will Wright, Todd Howard, Chris Roberts, and other names that I don't Hideo, know. Hideo but, Kojima, yeah, Kojima. How do yeah. they feel about like get them in a room? How do they feel about each other? Do they follow each other's work? Are some of them they like do. buddies? I'm pretty sure. Uh, 100% yeah, I'm pretty they, sure they do. I, yeah. I guarantee okay. you that Chris Roberts has played a Hideo Kojima game. I don't know if. Oh, Hideo for Hideo sure. Him. But like, does he Kojima's know? Played. Has he been in the same room? Like, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure they're it's a small, like, a way back. It is a small industry. They've all been in a room at some point. Like, if, if you're if you're if you're if you've been in this industry long enough, like if not E3, been, like. You've probably been on the floor with somebody. You've maybe passed by them and said hello. Like, like, I, like I can almost guarantee you that Sean Murray has run into people who've worked on Star Citizen or maybe even lead designers at Star Citizen just because they've been in the same location at the same time. That's one of the reasons why conventions existed in the first place was so that these people could network. So uh, <laughs> they, they don't they, 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 you know, forget about that. That's what E three was originally for, <laughs> not for people, but like for for yeah. like the industry. So. As, as I say, star, star, uh, star citizen, as the video game industry is incredibly incestuous. Um, there's so many people because because there's we think of this as a big industry and it's really grown over the last couple of years, which is why it hurts when you see so many people losing their jobs because a lot of them is their first job in this big firing hire fi- firing. But like pre 2020, 
the game industry was a lot smaller than you think because a lot of the people who were making one game would be finished making that game and then move to a completely different company and make that game. So while it looked like, oh, there's like 100 different companies, those 100 different companies had the equivalent of like 25 different companies because they just kept and, rotating and how many, people in and out of these different locations. Because that's And I'm, I'm not going to start naming names, but how many people, you know, worked at CID who went on to work for, for, for like, like Sony or Blizzard or someplace yeah, uh, else? Uh, Good, yeah. Paul Jones works for for, my, uh, for, for uh, Ubisoft right now. Uh, Sarah right. McCulloch now went to... Cigar on, Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think she's doing something else right now, but I well, think she yeah, was... No, yeah. She went to go work on Wipeout. Yeah. Because like, uh, uh, that, that was like what she did in her off time. Like, hey, they offered me a job. I, I'm going. Like, there's no. I'm, <laughs> that was yeah. what I did for fun. Now I get to do it professionally. Like, there's no way I'm staying here. There was also the uh, one of the major uh, leads for like like promotions for Star Citizen left to work for Sony to work on the first God of War game. The first like new. That, new that, um, that Lito Hanion? I think so. Yeah, Lisa Ohanian. Yeah, it was 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 that. So like, um, there's people who went off to work for Blizzard. Um, you know, there's there's lots of different devs who've worked in different in different places, and have also come back to work for CIG after that. So because <laughs> like who came they know back? these people. Um. Oh, Zane. Zane is one. Zane is one. He left and came back. I think. Oh, really? uh, That's there was cool. there was one of the. Um. Oh gosh, what is his name? I might be wrong with Zane though. Uh. uh there was. Uh, I'm blanking his name. Well, they're all 1500, so it is hard to keep track. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's a member of the community team. Uh, or not community team, one of the advertisement teams, I think. Uh, I follow him on Twitter, so I know he left and then came back recently. Okay. So, um, uh, like, so. Uh, Jared is from everywhere. <laughs> he, Jared is that a great is example of this incestuousness. He used to work at Pixar. He used to work at Disney Animation. He used to work at... Uh, um, at EA, Huckabee? yeah, Jared Huckabee. He worked at EA. At, uh, he worked. At, he also worked at Pixar and worked in, in Disney Animation. And, also, and he also liked to say, well, not like to say, but he also said that this is the longest he ever stayed in, in one place. In one company, yeah. Uh, the yeah. person who's most famous to work for Blizzard, I think, in at least my experience, is uh, um, Zylo. Zylo worked for like seven, eight years at Blizzard as QA, and, so, and brought with him a couple people. Yeah, there's more than a few people who come because like, he came over. And he actually came over because another friend of his who worked at Blizzard uh, was working there. So, and that's an example of like, they just, it just rotates. These people just move from place to place and they often never leave the same city they were in. They just work for a different company and then come back. So, so I wouldn't be surprised if you looked at the like credentials of CIG employees and like half of them have worked on 17 different games over the last 20 years. So, uh, Todd Pappy worked on some of the original Atari games. Oh, wow. Yeah, I talked with him at, at, at I talked with him at um, at uh, uh, at CitizenCon about what his first games was. He said, he said his the first after game, party. Yeah, at the after party, he said specifically Atari games. And I was mm. like, damn. <laughs> Tony Z worked on the Crusader series, uh, Crusader the Crusader No Remorse and No Regret, uh, which are mm. which were like sci fi shooters. So, um, it's an industry. People change companies. Uh, that's that, that, that's life. Yeah, but it's one of those things where it's smaller than you think. There's a lot of people know a lot of different other people. It's one of the things you, if, if you're a content creator, don't break NDAs. They, they, those people talk with each other. All right. And they're not that big of a community. Community mm -hmm. managers will jump from place to place and they work for a lot of different companies. And there's only a small number of them out there and they all talk. Uh, and they, there's no problem for them to send out messages to people they know to say, don't work with you. And that's, that's the, the great, great experience of that. Um, Black yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, it's completely by different way, from other industries because of that. Sorry. By the way, when I say blacklisted, that's not racist. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it also, but that also goes for like if you work in a company and you're a dick, it, it's really easy for you to get ended up on a list of no hires from a lot of different companies because of the same reasons. So. Or get hired at, at companies that can't get anyone to take them seriously. Yeah. Uh, I mean, all right. So. Base game names. Uh, how so Pasta says, how will hangers work with different ship sizes? For example, if a player starts with a Titan and then buys a Carrick, will they automatically get a bigger hanger, a big hanger? Probably. I think it's all I one so. size. Yeah. yeah, I think it's all one size. I think you when you buy it in, in when you buy like an actual cash, it every ship comes with a hanger. So I'm assuming that every ship when you purchase a game will come with a hanger for at least one. I highly 
Well, no, we will have the elevator, so we can hopefully have the like, elevator well, near the door. Yeah. We don't know how like, the personal hangar is going to If I get work, an Aurora, so. they're pro like, if I only have an Aurora on my account, or heck, they, they did a Pisces with a, a ship package, uh, mm -hmm. or game package. So, like, they're not going to give me the, the extra, extra large hangers no. like, from the get-go. That's, that's not really feasible, because, like, I have to walk for 10 minutes to get the Pisces. Well, uh, yeah, I think... I think game packages do have uh, do have hangers, but I think each ship is um tied to a hanger itself. So if you yeah. if you buy a well, how can you do that? Okay, I'm I'm trying to think of it in mind. Cause is there a way for people to buy like a thousand dollar ship and just get the concierge um just package thing that does have a hanger in, inside of it, but the, the ship that they, they they probably bought that it, it does have a hanger with inside of it. I don't know if that's like... I don't it, think... It, yeah. yeah. I don't think the system that we're getting has anything to do with the what hanger you have on your account. All right. Um, I think it, it's just a, a stand-in, and I also think that it will... Uh, it'll probably default to either a standard, like just oh, a large size hanger, or your largest ship in your fleet. Yeah. And that because if you and then if you get a like if you start with an Aurora and buy a large ship, I think it'll just store all your stuff or maybe have it ask you if you want to store all your stuff, remove all your stuff from your hangar and give you the bigger hangar. Like that is that is definitely a game designer like they probably have some solution that they've drawn up and they they like the solution that they have. They have not shared what solution that is yet. Yeah, I, I was just, uh, I'm thinking about it. Don't touch by the side just the aesthetics, but we'll see <laughs> how that works. Sorry, I'm going to do something real quickly. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't work looking at it too too seriously because like we're gonna get a we're gonna get an ISC just about this. They'll we'll talk about it and they'll show it off and that kind of yeah. stuff and, and explain Maybe it. Even, but uh, a pair ISC SEL. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. So yeah, so just make sure you're uh, make, make make sure you're paying attention to that. I think this is the best the best the best point of view of that one. So uh, let's go with the next question. Sorry, I was checking something else real quick because uh, someone 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 commented on my latest video, which was like, "Hey, um, the factor code." She's like, "Oh, right, factor. I forgot to put that code in there." Uh, uh, duh, 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 duh. You know, getting paid. You know. By the way, we're sponsored by Factor. It's somewhere around here. Oh, did I forget to put it on there? It's not this it. scene. It was on the main. Uh, the, the It was on the main scene. There we go. Put it up there. There we go. Uh, hey. yeah, so use that code to get 50% off your first box. It's a fantastic deal. Um, let me look at the code. All right. You can just cover my face instead of covering chat. I don't <laughs> mind. Chat, chat can get covered. It's fine. Uh, I didn't know Oxide Games killed. Uh, what did, what, what did Oxide Games name it Harvest? All right. Um, the next question is do, 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 do. Uh, With the new Moby Glass, will we finally get a ship key fob so we can remotely lock or control a ship? No. No. It's not coming <laughs> in. So that might come in in the future, but that's not coming with this one. And it last. something they, they have heard. Yeah. And they can do. But they need they need dev time for that, and they have better things that will move us closer to beta than to give you to give us all a way to manage ship systems from your mobile glass. And uh, next have not need to have. Yeah. Ne next question comes from Jim Pot. This uh, is Jim Pasta. No, Jim Pasta was asking all those questions. The last question comes from Gin and Tonic, who asks, "What are the people going to complain about when CIG starts delivering all of these things people have been waiting for so long? They will find a way." There will be uh, new the paint's and too red. Paint. The ship's too expensive. There's too many bugs in it. Stuff's too hard. Players are too dumb. When, when is my ship coming? That's yeah. what, that, 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 that's a universal complaint. That, that, that's never going away. When is my no. ship coming? And totally never, never comes out. You're never <laughs> going to find people who want to complain about Why is X ship so OP? Citizen. 
Why there's going to be fine X thing. There'll be a new and exciting ways that people will complain about it. But you know, exciting. It, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like like the, like blue sky. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> there, there, there will all there will always be critiques that people will have of CIG and Star Citizen. Some of which will be legitimate and things that CIG should take into account. Others, which are just people being mad. Um, the the humans are going to human no matter what you do. The only thing that you can hope for is that the people who are complaining about stuff that is stupid will end up becoming quieter and quieter or completely drowned out by the people who are making memes of the content or uh, exciting clips or making gameplay videos or doing podcasts or whatever. That's the only thing we can hope for in the future. But to complain is human nature and it exists all over the planet (laughs) for every product. Even the most well-loved things and people have complainers, so... Who knows? With the line, everyone had to, everyone had to, had an opinion. Everyone has it just just like a, just like butts. Everyone has one. Uh, just like opinions like butts. Everyone has one, and everyone thinks that theirs doesn't stink. So, um, <laughs> um, though I do agree with that minstrel that the Aurora should have the lock S foils like the Scorpius. I would one hundred percent love to see the the, yep. the Aurora have its wings pop out like that. It would look cool and it would fit in with the uh, so so well. So that's not a forty five dollars um, ship though. Sure it is. They would do it like that. It, sure, it's, it sure it is. It's just it's flight mode. That's all. So now it, when it goes in the atmosphere, it doesn't fly like a brick. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that the last that's one of the higher. features for the Aurora. That's on. The, that's in the pamphlet. That, that, awesome. that would change the entire uh, vibe of RSI if the Aurora flew, flew better. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they won't do it, though. Yeah. I just, yeah. Uh, let's see what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the last question. Thank you so much for joining us for this. Let me check, check, check's notes. Uh, at your, uh, let's see. Four hours. Wait. We're at Man, three hours and 55 hours. minutes. Oh, fail. man. I was uh, hoping. Yeah, well, it'll be less for those you were listening to this in the audio format and podcast. But as I said before, Factor is sponsoring our stream today. So make sure if you are somebody like myself who often does long streams and doesn't have chance to make meals, uh, uh, or like say you're working a lot, or you 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 don't have a, you don't have the ability to make your own lunches, uh, you can use Factor, which is a fantastic service which you can buy pre-made meals on their website. They send it to you once a week. Uh, you just put it in your fridge uh, until you want it. You pull it out. You poke some holes in the little little kind of container. Put it in your microwave. Put it in there for two to three minutes. It's done. It's good tasting. It's um, uh, really easy to clean up. Um, the only problem I have with it is it can be a little expensive, but you don't have to worry about that with my code because if you use my code, which is I'm going to say it out loud uh, because I can. Um, but I also put it in there. Factor SE47080. That is Factor SE47080. Um, and you will get 50% off of your first meal, uh, your first box, and uh, uh, something like free like wellness shots for life, or, or two, two free, free wellness shots per order. I'm going to pop up here. Uh, well, while the subscription is active, uh, yeah, I'm just looking through my own, my own thing, because this is one of those. So, well, and people ask what are wellness shots? They're little little shots that you can take with a bunch of vitamins and nutrients in them. So, uh, yeah. And thank you again to Fastcart and Nova Forge for coming on and talking with us for this long stream. Hopefully, you found it enjoyed enjoyable, if not if not informative. And uh, yes, Fastcart. No, I just want to say, just so this this is not obviously a six hour stream. It's only four hours, so that's about three fifths. So that's a compromise I can live with. Uh, and you know, this this episode has been part of FC's great moments in Black history. That's all. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, remember to uh, see Fastcart and his stand-up routine on the Soul Citizens podcast, uh, where he actually has a mute button. So. Um, <laughs> Actually, that's that. That, that, is, the mood button. that is that is that is one hundred percent means that, that that Soul Citizens is better than the Captain's Table in every way possible, simply because of that addition. Um, and <laughs> and of course on uh, the People's Radio once a month. Uh, and check out the Nova Forge YouTube dot com slash the Nova Forge for more content about space and science fiction, especially Star Citizen. And you you also stream on Twitch or is it just YouTube for now? No, it's both until both. Twitch decides to ban me for combining the chats. You can't. Oh, yeah, because, yeah. What are you talking about combining chats? I don't know what you're talking about. 
Yeah, I don't right. know. Uh, yeah, um, we'll, be, we'll be we'll be live. No, because I can't stream tomorrow. No, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow night. We'll be live tomorrow night at uh, eight p.m. EST. And if you enjoyed this, time so citizen. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's when I can. It's when I'm consistently off work. It's okay. Um, no, no, no one's gonna watch out of it because Super Bowl is gonna be on. But that's yeah. true. <laughs> I forgot about that. It's not settable, who's, so I don't care. Who's, who's gonna watch the Super Bowl? Like, like it's it's 49ers fans and Chiefs fans. It's a very small and Taylor Swift fan. Taylor Swift fans will watch the Super Bowl. <laughs> Which I know um, nobody in those three groups. So, and uh, if you if you enjoyed this content, make sure you and you want to watch it live. Check us out at twitchtv slash theastropub or youtubecom slash theastropub live. Join us live on Saturdays at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern to get answer your quest, ask your questions, and just ch- see what's going on. We'd love to see you here and hanging out. And like I say every time, hope to see you someday in the black. <laughs>